I am super happy Destiny got banned. I think that there is a level of acceptable behavior uh, that platforms such as Twitch should uh, should tolerate. And I think Destiny stepped well over that fucking line, like, uh, on multiple occasions, but certainly recently. And especially since his ban on the platform, he's shown absolutely no kind of uh, remorse. He's, in fact, just got worse. Uh, so I think overall, um, Twitch made a... Twitch made a good decision in banning him, and I'd be really surprised if he continues his current behavior if they decide they're going to let him back on the platform. So who wants to kick it off? I would love to kick it off, because I just want to establish... I, I sense that there's sort of two directions. There's two, there's two parts of this conversation. One seems to be a question about the ban, whether or not the ban is a good idea, if it's justifiable, and that's going to be sort of based off of its real-world effects. And then a secondary question as to what we just think of Destiny in general. Someone could say, I don't agree uh, with the ban, but I still dislike Destiny. So I just want to clarify which direction we kind of want to start on. Can I actually uh, suggest that it's actually three? Because, like, yeah, I agree, there's the ban. Actually, there's four topics. It's what we think of Destiny, and then I think it's like also this part of like how much goodwill can you garner before you start acting like an asshole, and like is it okay to act like an asshole if you've done the, like important things? Like I think that's like a big part of this. Uh, I, I think we can kind of roll that to what we that's think. Such about a, that's such a ridiculous I mean, I argument. It's too. less so like true. how much do we like or dislike Destiny, and like more so like do we think he's good for the positions that he takes? Because yeah. it feels like if it's a like and dislike, then it's just going to turn into a pissing match of like. Who likes a person yeah, sorry. Who's not even in this when I say like this, like I just mean that I think there's a discussion about should a destiny have been banned, and is destiny good for the left or his positions? Good are for the left. left, just good for the platform. Come on, like sure, we we, the, we can the, say that. The We're... insanity of thinking that Twitch political advocacy is anything more than a pissing match. Like people are deluding themselves, frankly. What do you but, mean? Uh, do, carry on. do we think that Twitch pol politics at all has like influence or meaning, or are we considering it essentially an irrelevant for a platform in this sense? I would say small but noteworthy. Meaning, I mean, people. Uh, small but basically I'm not gonna, nothing. Yeah. I'm not going to pretend that this space is the biggest or one that is most likely to influence the most people, but um, people should be aware that their thoughts, behaviors, and how they express their ideas has impact on other people. Um, if anything. Because who knows, like, someone watching this, these programs might be someone who, you know, w will be inspired to be, you, you're going to laugh and scoff, but inspired to, to do some activism or to be a leader at some point, even if the audience base is small. Of course, uh, they, of it, course they can. And, you know, I've had people message me who said that they've been inspired to do things because go. of what I've said to them. But it doesn't Don't believe it at all, Vivian. It's a fucking clown. The only thing they've been inspired to do is go to their local fucking hobbies. And get some clown makeup, okay, and run around pretending they're in the circus because that's all Vivian does on this shit. You ask most people on the fucking street, like they will never have heard of ninety percent of the people you're going to be sure. bitching about tonight and drawing what aboutisms and in false equivalencies between. Nobody is going to have heard of most of the people you're going to reference. So, I want like, to clarify the question then. Yeah. If, in so far as Twitch does have an influence within politics and that it inspires people towards certain positions. Do we think that A, Destiny, what effects do we think Destiny has on the platform in general and the discourse within politics? And B, what kind of effects do we think that we, he causes in terms of the advocacy that he does inspire people towards when they are affected by him? I think it's largely positive. I mean, my affirmative case is because I think he fits a role in a niche that is sorely needed in political discourse and I, I sit in my opening i think those like the, the, the tenants there are honesty is one of the big ones for me is i think you know, there are some places where you can say okay he was just memeing here um or he he was just doing like a little nice. uh, a ruse there or maybe or he was outright lying or he changed when... his position even though he knows that that position isn't a tenable one or he decided to spread something that was like uh you know ultimately not true uh simply because he couldn't be asked to fact check it um like, yeah, gotta I, give I, examples I, 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 here or can you substantiate you, uh, those claims with like specifics sorry which one of them like there any of them uh, yeah you made a lot of them yeah, i guess any of them there. whichever one you'd like to substantiate i guess you can start there uh Destiny you know, and I had the transports conversation like fucking three years ago. He decided to take some of the same positions he was taking. Before we spoke, he deliberately discounted and ignored evidence that was presented to him back then. Um, in case of him spreading random shit that like hasn't been... Oh shit, I'm getting beaten up by a bug. 
Um, in the case of him <laughs> spreading stuff that hasn't been uh, confirmed, you could talk about like... I, I, Vivian has no idea about any of this conversation. I don't even know why she would pretend to talk about transports. There's too much. Vivian has to only talk about like the most, like, she should just talk to, about social issues that there's not anything to fact check her on. I don't know why she would even pretend to dip her tone to this. She's too stupid for this conversation. Also, I'm pretty sure four or five years ago, I was still on more or less the same page of like, oh, I don't really know about trans people in sports, um, but whatever. Uh the the careful stealing money from the communist party meme uh that you decided to just you know go like ahead and lying, believe like what uh, lies? Uh, lying yeah, is I, kind of malicious like what specific lies has destiny spread yeah i i, I just want to i think that that is a, a good distillation because if our standard he, like I, if he retweeted something which turned out later to be false might be different than an intentional malicious and deliberate okay, lie look, i i scoffed at uh pisco saying he was honest Right. My one of my issues with these with these degenerate f***ing scum f humans is that like there are times when I might get things wrong. So like the Keffels thing, um, there was a whole bunch of shit posted about how they had an account on a Discord server that had underage minors. Apparently the I, I can't I hate that I'm even saying this because these people don't deserve this level of charity. But supposedly like she did have an account in a server where minors are being groomed or whatever, but it, like she wasn't directly involved in it, so it's not necessarily fair. Right. That that seemed to be the case when I dug in a little bit more. But people will look at me like tweeting like retweeting something like that and they'll be like oh this is examples of like destiny's being like a horrible bad faith actor but then like they'll post like five thousand actual blatant lies of me and it's like oops lol <laughs> i just accidentally like lied about you 20 like where is the equivalent exchange like, like where like any time i say anything that's even remotely incorrect or ends up being wrong it's like time to bring down the guillotine meanwhile they'll just like diarrhea verbally diarrhea like five thousand lies about me. like oh lol i accidentally spread misinformation again oopsie you can be dishonest without telling an open lie you can be dishonest in your intent for example you could uh you could call somebody uh you could call somebody a terrorist walk it back to stochastic terrorist and then say oh well everybody uh on this plat uh, platform is a stochastic terrorist in some way I, uh, knowing I, that I, yeah. knowing you, that the initial you remember where i was is gonna be fucking terrible. you remember where i was so, on that conversation i mean yeah i know i know where you were that, uh, um, where, where i was calling him out for that and there are mm -hmm. i will say to you that there are moments where his pride gets in the way and i think that that's one of them where his fuck his pride his... it's nothing to do with his pride he's perfectly happy lying when he considers somebody to be a quote unquote enemy right lying like about what? usually it's only that's when they've true. told like I mean, blatant lies about me sort of and, and even at that i've done it like one time the stupidity of his position and the terrorism thing it's, it's very clear right so he's unwilling to label uh certain groups of people terrorism because he says that, you know terrorism is so meaningless but he's very quick to label you both the terrorist, which he did initially, and then a stochastic terrorist. Oh my God, Pisco clear, like, like went, is like has the most like autistic fucking obsession with this like terrorist argument because he's like obsessed with being able to label Republicans as terrorists or whatever. Um, the I think that in the course of the conversation, when it comes to labeling anybody as a terrorist, I'm uncomfortable because the term is like it's basically like terrorist is the equivalent of like person I don't like. Um, so like BLM are terrorists or, uh, you know, January 6th people are terrorists. It's like, it seems like it's a, it's like a, it's not like a very relevant term. There's just nothing good that's accomplished by bringing this into the lexicon, right? Um, and then I think in a conversation with Vivian, I basically said, I think I said like, first I think I said like, you're basically being a terrorist or you're being like a stochastic terrorist, which I guess like I, I shouldn't have said, but there's gotta be like some word there where it's like the stuff that you're saying is like leading directly to harm. Like you can pretty much like draw a line to that. I didn't know what the word was. Stochastic terrorism was something that I heard, but then Pisco saw this like, oh look, well like you're doing it too. And it's like, no, I just, there's like, this is just the term, the stochastic terrorism is like what's evolved over time. This is what I'm using. Like I wouldn't label, I wouldn't have Vivian labeled by the state as like a terrorist or whatever. I'm just saying that in terms of like driving people towards violence is essentially what your rhetoric is doing but <clears throat> a, a total um i think failure to recognize the absurdity of holding both of those positions that how can you say that the word terrorism is so ill-defined but stochastic terrorism that's that's perfectly well defined and you, and you know what it applies to viv who just conveniently is arguing against me right now in this moment as opposed okay. to january 6 people so i i hear you there and i think that there was some arrogance there um and it showed and i don't think he looked good in those exchanges but i don't, i wouldn't but, but look at someone's body of their work. You know, there's a person who takes positions that are deeply unpopular, both with, with his base and with people who, who you would say are, essentially are his friends, and he takes them anyway, right? 
Um, well, yeah, because he wants convenient. to have the because he wants to have the fucking drama, dude. It's not fucking rocket science. That would make say... sense, but but he also takes undramatic positions, right? He supports Joe Biden. That's not a very radical position that's likely to stir controversy. He supports like a lot of very moderate positions or you know neoliberal establishment style positions. Those yeah. to me don't don't strike to me as like someone who's seeking out the most controversial thing to well, propagate. The issue is that you're saying well, lying. No, you keep the saying point lying, is, but then the you're outlining is, like bad what we would call it is a bad point character. Is, so like the, I, the point I'm, is, I'm is that you're making a claim and you have yet to substantiate that he is actively maliciously lying. Sure, maybe he's got a bad take that he is resistant sorry. to walk back. Sorry, do you think where's your evidence sorry. of him lying? Sorry, do you think I I, I really don't care to play these silly fucking semantics with it's you. It's not a semantic but game. If you're going to claim don't somebody, you I don't need to substantiate think, it. I don't think, I don't think, okay, I don't think uh, that using the word lying to say that you're, uh, to say that somebody is openly stating a position that they clearly don't fucking hold. Like right? what? In order for, uh, uh, in order to drive drama or in order to start shit with somebody else. What position? to call that lying. You can call it bad faith as well. Bad faith is the perfect, uh, that's the perfect fucking definition of bad faith because but, but I, uh, I think most you have people a point don't use it very I, well. I think, really but, but, Go ahead, I think that's fine. Look, really look, quick. I, go ahead. Um, thank Sorry. you so much for giving me the opportunity to speak. Um, so I think that... What position? I think that it is important to point out instances where he's lying, if he if he is lying. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be super critical of you, Viv. I think that... Sorry, how are these things not lying, friend? What oh, position? Yeah, sorry, I, I... Saying you hold a position that you, obvi that you obviously don't hold. Like what? Like that's lying, right? I, Am I going I don't think, I don't think the terrorism can is I, um... <laughs> Hold on, but can, can let's I don't, I have Section never even got to finish. Go ahead, Section. Uh, so the, the thing I wanted to talk about that I guess was important to me was his talk with the serfs and his, his talks about the serfs' charitable donations. So if I'm not mistaken, the ac Destiny put forward this accusation that the surf had performed charitable donations. Okay, even on my subreddit, people are like, Destiny, you should walk that back. Destiny, that's not fair. I 1 million percent stand by the original accusation, and even to this day, I still stand by it. He chose to donate to an organization that had bodies around the world where, in the UK, three members had stepped down for making, like, insanely anti-Semitic, like, kill all Jewish people, like, insane comments. Like, such that if I would have donated money towards any organization that was even remotely like this, people would have been like, fascist, 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 fascist. Like, but then people, like, look at that, it's like, oh, Destiny, that's not fair that you said that he donated to an organization with ties to Hamas or whatever, whatever. It's like, bro, like... It, they'd been accused by, like, seven different fucking entities of doing this. And, like, the fact that... And then, ultimately, what Lance's argument ultimately was... And even most of you guys agree with it, for whatever fucking reason. The ultimate argument... The argument ultimately was, Well, Destiny, that's the Canadian branch. It's not the same as, like, the main thing. What?! That we're going to go towards Islamic, like, uh, sorry, to the Muslim Brotherhood? And, like, Hamas. There's a long mm -hmm. destiny thread about this. And what ended up happening, I, I think if anybody remembers Obama. this, is Destiny got corrected on this. And mm -hmm. the position he ended up taking, if I'm not mistaken, was that if someone is like the serfs, if they're like a liar, punk jerk to him, which I think I think we can kind of say that the serfs might have been, that he feels justified in doing that back to them. No, that, the, 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 the Hamas thing, thing. I did that one time with Demon no, Mama. Before I, before I oh, that, fuck. I can't listen. I'm going to lose my fucking mind listening to this. I can't do it. I'm sorry, guys. Falsely accused of, of funneling money to these groups. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about what I remember as a Destiny viewer pulling like a lie to try and support Viv's position that he kind of lies sometimes as best I can. Um, but I think I broadly... Mean, if he said that, that that's, if he said that, that's like pretty much an open... Um, open and shut admission that he's perfectly okay lying uh, if he's in a fight with somebody. I'm not sure. Um, what, what and that's, can that's I, um, I think, if, can if I, I just can... chime in real quick? I just yeah, sorry, go, go ahead, Madeline. Uh, like, sure, the, Madeline the point before. here, so, like, the point was Pisco's, uh, Pisco, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I've been hanging out in the wrong Discord. Um, <laughs> I've been, <laughs> I've been, uh, the, the comment was, 
destiny it represents like some sort of like honesty coming from the heart, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the point is like, if such a man is also making bad faith arguments from time to time, then maybe that statement is a bit undermined. That's all. Like we don't actually have to d dissect how much of a lie is a lie. We don't have to like really like delve into yeah. it. I think this is going to take us far I mean, away from our topic. I, I think what uh, in, response, uh, in, in, in response, I think that you, uh, so one thing for sure is, yeah, if you are, purposely and actively maliciously taking an opposition that you don't hold if it's not like an effort to play devil's advocate which he does from time to time i don't think any of you would begrudge someone who is playing devil's advocate as a way to test out ideas which he does from time to time if what i'm playing about, devil's you know, advocate i'm gonna say it i don't just randomly do that he's either slow to acknowledge a change position or he seems to say something to, that would indicate some malice on his part so the slow to acknowledge a change in position you have to give space for people to change their minds, right? Everyone on this platform, myself included, it's extremely difficult as a skill to in real time acknowledge that you made a mistake. And I don't begrudge people who in the moment are like, they're too, like, I would take it as a, as a huge compliment to your character that you're able to say, hmm, hadn't thought about that. And, and maybe you, you have a point there. Um, but I'm not going to ascribe this highest level of standard for a lot of people who put their foot in the mouth and say things that are, you know, obviously too broad or in the terrorism example, I think totally untenable, um, not being able to maintain that accusation towards Vivian. Um, but that I think you have to give people space for on the question of like what his behavior towards the surf TV, that one, I think a more charitable interpretation, I, you know, I'm not, I don't know the quote. And if you give me the direct quote, maybe I can speak to it. But I think a more charitable interpretation, one that I've heard him voice something like this is, why should I give these people the benefit of the doubt when they never give me the benefit of the doubt? Whenever That's a little a more 50 -50, fair. 50-50, you know, I don't get that benefit of the doubt. And so why should I extend that courtesy when at all times people are taking my quotes out of context and are lambasting me with positions I don't hold? Yeah, this is the exact... I I, I just want to reaffirm, I think that is exactly probably what Destiny would say. He talks a lot about matching energy, and I think that kind of thing also sometimes to extend to sort of the decorum and tactics of a debate as well. It's, it extends to how honest he thinks the other side is being, which, like, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's very different, it's very difficult to determine the honesty of an individual like Yeah, maybe much, when you're uh, a fucking moron like Viv. believe what they're saying sometimes, right? Um, and he will just take any kind of like bad position yeah. as like. So is it worthwhile to? Is it is it worthwhile then? I would ask. Uh, attempts to criticize people based upon that metric in the in this context. No, I based think on how is, charitable because... they're being, or well, it is if he openly says he's fine doing it doing it to them. Um, because when, because even saying, oh, well, his opponents have lied, so he decides that it's okay for him to be dishonest. Like, that's still I, I saying that he's dishonest, right? I don't think he would ever that say that. I don't think he would ever admit, and if he did, it's only because he's raging or something, but I don't think he would ever admit to actively maliciously lying about someone else's Yeah, no, he probably wouldn't. Uh, and, and, but uh, I mean, I'm just going to, off what was said. To I, there, guess, I, I just don't know how like, to explain. This guy's been online for like 13 years. There's absolutely going to be times where he's bullheaded and resists points. To say that that's bad faith in the engagement, sure, we can call it that. The reality is that most people on this platform do that, right? But to like have our bar of like whether or not he's what like a good actor and honest, basically being like we can come up with basically well, I mean, we're literally just not talking. Doing that, that's okay. Okay. Don't stop that's saying insane. basically zero what examples when we just... No, because again, because again, that's pretty fucking but, dishonest as well right like we're just gonna wait, sit was, here and let her bullshit doesn't prove uh -huh. that somebody is overall a dishonest yes, character it, in this well how many do you want no, no, how many do you have we even given one, one good one yet I more than two to three anecdotes i literally gave three on years. in quick fire do you want, fire. Oh, i'm okay, sorry wait, let's, let's, let's approach this maliciously this is i'm sorry this is so fucking stupid most of them just we have a hold on this is this is this is ridiculous because if I give you four, you'll say that's not enough. If I give you five, you'll say that's not enough. I don't have the entirety of Destiny's fucking history to I, I don't think you'll be I'm giving you three. Enough, so. I'm giving you three examples that have happened in inside the last six Respect. months. That, right? I don't think you're being fair to so, Erida. Erida is both commenting on the quality and how long ago the was the surf's the conversation? She, was that within the past six these months? Ex examples of. Active it's malicious, honesty. deliberate lies. What you're, what she's saying is, we're, we're giving space for people to be like resistant at first, have their colorful commentary, like that kind of thing is, I think, part of the course on this, on this website. And this, this point, and then I'll, then I'll be done. 
What I'm referencing with honesty is a bunch of actions and positions taken that make absolutely no sense if you're a dishonest person. And that is taking positions totally contrary to his base. Gotcha. Taking positions in favor of people he hates like Vosh. Um, you know, taking positions where, where uh, super unpopular is going to hurt his career. Sorry, does somebody, have, right? does somebody honest have to be uh first i mean first off like the written house shit, that close, the written house shit was pretty fucking laughable right like i was right it was, pretty, it was pretty obvious that destiny was in the middle of his fuck lefty arc there i was right about been, everything uh, i said you know the first comment of the information joseph rosenbaum we the jury find the defendant kyle h rick house not guilty as to the second count of the information, Richard McGinnis. That's the really the big jury, one. the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the third count of the information, unknown male, we the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Jeez. As to the fourth count of the information, Anthony Huber, we the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage Grosskreutz, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Ritt Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Damn, holy shit. Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? React to Twitch and Twitter to for lefty seething. I don't think it's good to um, I don't think it's good to like gloat over a verdict. Again, like it's not that we necessarily should want a verdict to come one way or another. Um, it's i mean it just it is what it the idea that him taking that position is somehow really harmful to him here is my understanding so far of the situation there might have been something else that happened and if in that case it would change what i'm saying but what it appears happened was some I, I don't even like to repeat this first because I don't know if it's true, but apparently, supposedly, allegedly, some 17-year-old dipshit came from another state to defend fucking property, probably with his fucking dad's AR-15 or something that he borrowed from an older fucking friend, okay? He, he goes to some state because he wants to defend property or some stupid shit. I don't fucking know. Whatever conservative LARPers jerk off doing in their fantasy world, okay? He shows up, then some equally fucking dipshit, rioting, protesting dumb fuck decides to throw shit at him or charge him or do something. The guy with the rifle is running away from this guy as this other guy continues to charge him and throws some shit at him or whatever people are saying just a plastic bag it looked like there was something in the bag but however favorable or unfavorable you're gonna be like as the guy with the rifle is running he turns around the other guy charging him continues to charge him guy with the rifle shoots that dude i think in the head okay so that guy drops to the ground the guy that shot him picks up his phone supposedly calls 911 and says hey i think i just killed somebody and starts walking away um, as another guy is trying to give first aid to the dude on the ground. The guy with the rifle is walking away, and I think he's like 200 yards sort of from the shooting when other people start following him and then start charging him one at a time. When it becomes obvious, I think they, he falls over or something, some guy runs up to like fucking curb stomp this dude in the face, and he shoots the guy that tries to jump and kick him. Another guy runs up and tries to steal his rifle, he shoots that guy, and I think there might be a third guy that comes up and he shoots that guy. When people stop charging him, he gets up and he continues to walk away. Looks like a lot of pretty standard fucking self-defense to me. Pretty obvious shit. If you charge some dude with a fucking rifle and you're throwing shit at him or you're trying to attack him or rustle his weapon away, yeah, like, fuck it. Yep, yep, get fucked. It seems like you're interested in shitting on one side of the situation. Do you have anything to say about the shooter being stupid? Bye. Goodbye. I'm banning you because I've literally said multiple times that the shooter is a fucking moron. I've literally said it multiple times. I, I, but you can't hear it. You can't hear me saying it because you're so emotionally invested in this. You so want to be anti anything having to do with cops or anything having to do with anti predators anti writers that all you can possibly hear is criticism of your one side, okay? I can't think of anything more cucked in my entire fucking life than getting a gun and going to another state to put your life on the line to protect the property of some guy that probably makes 10 times more than your entire fucking family does, okay? I can't think of anything dumber or more cucked than that, okay? Unless you're getting paid for it, all right? I'm not defending the shooter running across to some other fucking state so that he can live out his LARPing zombie killing fucking fantasies, all right? In defense of the guy you banned, I've been here for 20 minutes and haven't heard you make that point yet. Anyone like me that hasn't been watching for very long... Wait, didn't I literally just say like three minutes ago? What did I say? I said, some dipshit came from Wisconsin, probably borrowed the gun from an older fucking friend or his mom or dad. Wait, didn't I really... Didn't I literally just say this? Like minutes ago? Are you not... Lit I... You're very lost, okay? But you know what? That's okay. Because I don't have to just... Listen... 
Daddy Destiny can pipeline from both ends, okay? Because I got a big ass fucking pipe here, okay? I'll take some. I know I've taken a lot of you guys from the alt right, but you know what? As of recently, I've taken a lot of you guys from the dipshit left as well. And I'll continue to do that, okay? I can pipe you in from both sides. There's a lot of commies in chat right now who are fantasizing just as much as any conservative has ever fantasized about a zombie apocalypse happening and them getting to use the 750,000 rounds of bullets they have and, and, and the whole prepper kitchen full of dumbass perishable, non perishable foods, or whatever. Like, just like those guys, I know that the lefties are out there dreaming of the day where they can watch Twitter videos of other people standing up to the cops and fascists and, and everybody's a fascist and not Twitter. Listen, I'm here to get both of you guys back from the edges. Come back with me on the solidly left, sock damn progressive side, okay? There's plenty of space over here on the far left for everybody, okay? Even if you're lost in the extreme left, way off in socialism, communist land, because you don't really understand economics, you don't really understand power structures, you don't really understand anything, that's okay. We can bring you back. And if you're lost all the way over there on the right, listen, don't worry. The de-radicalization is probably similar for both of you dumb fucks, okay? We got room for everybody over here in the far left sock dem world, okay? Come join me. It's great over here, okay? We, we believe about things like intersectionality. A lot of you probably don't know what that is because the only thing you've ever cared about in your entire life is class, even though there's a good chance that you probably belong to the middle or upper class anyway because the only people that have time to give a fuck about this shit are usually people that study it in school in a liberal arts program that their parents probably pay for. Listen, that's all right. We got intersectionality. We care about things like racism, right? We don't just say that all racism is caused by economic issues. Um, we care about things like um, like the rights of like minorities and shit. So like, even though a lot of people say that um, like under the Obama administration, pointless gains were made not us over here not in the progressive circles okay we got cool things like gay rights trans rights we care about all these things it's so cool of you you guys should join us it's awesome okay we have got so much more to talk about and do than to just jerk off about how evil cops are and anti-protesters are all day okay radical in the sense of jumping to conclusion without knowing the whole story it is almost like he does not care about knowing the whole story now I'm not talking to you because you're actually too far lost and you'll never realize it. Or maybe you will like 10 years from now where you'll look back and cringe, okay? But the reality is, is that I'm the actual person here saying, I don't know the full story. That's why I've said multiple times, maybe he was doing something prior to this that maybe would have made this a little bit more understandable. It's why when the other person said he was shooting beforehand, I asked, oh, do you have an article of that? Because that might actually change my opinion on things. If he was like shooting into a crowd beforehand, I could be like a little bit more understanding. I'll change my opinion to the facts change. But you're going to sit here and you're going to sit in my Twitch chat. I'm not going to ban you because you're fucking stupid, but that's okay. I want everybody to say stupid. You're going to sit here and say that I'm not caring about the facts, that I am ideologically driven while I'm sitting here telling you well i can see it i'll admit that like maybe things could be different if other information comes out but then you're going to run right off to another stream after this where that person is going to be making wild assumptions about everything going on and isn't going to change their opinion literally no matter what the fuck comes out about this because they've already made a decision and they're going to move on from this as soon as they're done ranting about it and virtue signaling about it okay he was literally laying on his ass firing shots at people 20 feet away who weren't even moving towards him Hold on. Can somebody please link the video so that we can watch it? Have you watched that video? Uh, I, I mean, I've watched, I think, that video, yeah. Can somebody link the second video so that we can watch it together? Because I have no idea what the fuck you are talking about. Hold on. Do you think, do you, okay, hold on. I'm trying so hard because you're being so dishonest, okay? How and I don't I know if you can tell Wait, my standards here have been completely consistent. In both instances, I have said that if no, no, the no. person who is chasing initiates and the person who has the gun verbally... Bosh, uh, one of the guys chasing this guy literally has a pistol drawn. Come on, dude. Okay. You're really going to do this? Uh, yeah. Really? You well, don't think that it's fair to assume the person that with the pistol had not fired? The person with the pistol hadn't fired. They were like right up close. It seems like that was more of an attempt at apprehension than it wasn't murder. In fact, by the way, I just want to say, if you're running from someone or you fall down and you turn around and there's somebody pointing a pistol at you two feet in front of you and they haven't fired, I think that's more of an indication of non-lethal intent than it is lethal intent. That is really? all, honestly on the part of the person with the pistol, probably a legitimate attempt at apprehending you than it is killing you. They oh, could have shot so then you in the you back. That when this guy, when this guy was aiming his rifle at the other guy, then who raised his hands and backed away, or earlier when he killed that one dude and he didn't kill the other guy that showed up to do first aid to him, then he wasn't trying to be like lethal towards everyone as well. Would you grant that same thing to the defender here, the shooter? I mean, no, because the shooter was the first person who killed a person, so it's reasonable for other people to consider him a threat. If you chase after a person who's being described as an active shooter with a pistol, you're not the one who's looking to go initiate. You're certainly not going to be okay. considered a threat by the people All around right. you. 
Okay, I'm gonna say this really slow for you. Okay, mm -hmm. patronize. If work. you, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, as hard as I can. If you defend yourself in a morally justified way against somebody, okay. So don't say I don't know if it was justified again for the third time. Okay, if you defend yourself in a morally justified way, and then you retreat from that situation, and a mob is chasing you down, and it's possible that they'll kill you if they get their hands on you. Do you think you're obligated to submit yourself to the mob? Um, I actually have to think about that. Generally, I think, yeah. I, like, you're, you're, I, just so you know, you're unironically arguing for like mob justice and lynching. No, what was really harmful to him is he couldn't stop himself saying something really die. fucking stupid to me in a conversation uh, where he where he said it was fine to like mow down dipshit protesters who were. He can up. climb ladders. Um, that was that was dumb as fuck, and I gave him the opportunity to like retract it, and he doubled down. So like, what fucked him there was his own fucking stupidity. But the idea that him taking a stance that is like gonna get him a whole bunch of debates with like lefty con content creators is somehow uh, detrimental to his career. No, that's fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry. Padres. I think that a better, I do think Vivian had a point in terms of going to the examples. I don't think it's going to be a particularly fruitful discussion for us to each break out our destiny lore master binders well, and, try yeah, and, exactly. and try and, and try and litigate all these examples. I think that there's probably a shared descriptive reality that we agree on. From there, we can sort of make discussions. And so well, I guess what I would ask to, to Vivian, I think it's Pisco's strongest point is, Vivian, I think we would all agree that there are moments where probably destiny has not been as genuine as you possibly could be. Maybe even we, we could agree there have probably been mo uh, moments where he has been ungenuine. But I think the question question is not is he There's genuine or ungenuine or binary of, but sort of how yeah. genuine is he particularly in comparison to like the twitch politics landscape and i, I, I think what pisco is saying and i would agree is that destiny seems to certainly be on like the upper echelon of these and so i guess the the question i would, I would want from you vivian is if you think that destiny is is not like in that top 10 percent or whatever the echelon is of being one of the more genuine people um who is who, who yeah who is <laughs> josie uh, <laughs> me, me? Yeah, <laughs> it's really it's really <laughs> difficult. To, well, you know, I mean, I I will openly state my fucking position and shit. And people people have accused me of being bad faith before, but like, uh, I don't I don't grow my platform off of uh, beefs with the uh, beefs with people who've been friends with me for fucking years. Um, I you know I I've burnt a few this. bridges that way because I oh you know, I my god say what I believe. But, so but when, uh, in those moments, I've heard Connor points compliment you, Viv when you said something that uh, a lot of left-wing people don't oh. want to say. You know, uh, like I think what? sometimes you've been mischaracterized for your positions with viol violence. I'm not gonna think you've, sometimes I think oh, that right. you've been characterized correctly, but sometimes I think you've been mischaracterized. But there are times where you've made it clear that, you know, what you think justifies viol violence in any given instant, and it's a like, sort of that threshold is, you know, more accepting of violence than a lot of left people, uh, left-wing people will at least say out loud. And people like Connor points have come out and said, you know, I applaud Viv for coming out mm -hmm. and saying, you know, that I want to okay kill everybody that with, disagrees with me. <laughs> um, Good job, Viv. Violence at this Brave. threshold and not at the higher threshold. And that is exactly the kind of like compliment I give to Destiny almost on a daily basis. You know, well, this, you know, when I say that, Destiny is just like, we should, uh, Viv you disagree on the merits. Well, you we disagree on the, fucking, well, you like, disagree on the merits. Up I mean, people in their that's fine, right? You guys, you guys can disagree on the merits. I mean, no one. Uh, in some sense, like, would I be making this compliment? <laughs> if you really want to stretch me, you, sh you should ask me, like, Richard what Spencer. If, Richard Spencer. That's what you should ask me. You should ask what me. About, what um, about Richard Spencer? The same compliment so, like, could be applied to him. So, like, someone, so Richard Spencer, although I don't think he's honest, right? And, I, and uh, Nick Fuentes, I don't think he's honest, but, but there are some aspects of honesty to them. Would I compliment them in those figures? I think that would be a good criticism of this position. I, I, it's not just honesty. It's I mean, we're taking plus... we're taking things things like one step at a time, right? Even if he's the most honest person in the world, honestly saying that, some of the things right. that he's said is Correct. not yeah. fucking good. That's, that, that's what I'm getting like, at. Can we, oh, we, can we can maybe talk part. about whether he's got good points or not, but to walk there down this go. line of like being dishonest, taking his statements out of context, and being like, How do well, I get in here? He doubled down yeah. on his oh. position. That doesn't mean that he's lying. He might have a really bad, uh, giving the most benefit of the doubt to your position, he might have a dog shit take, but that doesn't actually mean that he is lying. 
Cool. I, I would agree. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not. I'm not a mind reader. He could just consistently misrepresent his opponents in every, in almost every. Dude, office. Vivian is such a fucking scum piece of shit. How do I misrepresent people? This is how I review content. I literally play the full fucking video on stream. When I'm having talks with people, I'll literally say, is this your position? You know, I summarize you correctly. How am I misrepresenting people? When these motherfuckers misrepresent me constantly. Remember when Destiny was pro-rape and was laughing and told that woman she was a retarded child for getting raped over and over and over again and he loves rape? Also, he stealths people? Like, these people will look at, will say shit like this and be like, oh, Destiny misrepresents people. What are you talking about? he has uh purely because he's a fucking idiot and then that would go against your point of him being good for the platform as well so i mean you can take the position that he's either a fucking idiot or he's uh or he's dishonest and i actually happen to think that destiny is not a fucking idiot uh i've i've seen some of his debates and i think that he is capable of reasoning these things out and i think he chooses to take these fucking positions because but he doesn't take the easiest road he doesn't take the easiest they, road I can't tell if these... <coughs> I super can't tell if these people are real or not. Like, do you honestly think that I think that I just choose a position based on, like, what's going to make more people upset besides food takes? Like, am I, am I like, well, hmm, let's see what's going on today. Ukraine or Russia? Okay, well, let me go and see what the leading three lefty commentators said about it so that I know what my position is going to be. Like... Like, who would, how fucking boring and stupid would you have to be to honestly, like, arrive at political positions this way? It's unbelievable. Like, of course he doesn't. How would, be, how would that be? How would that be interesting? It's interesting to me. How would that get you? How would that? And she keeps saying this. How would it be interesting? There are plenty of things that could be interesting that I don't cover. It took me a long time to say anything really about Ukraine and Russia. There were fucking fifty thousand views up, not for me. Probably maybe fifteen to twenty thousand concurrent viewers. If I would have been covering that shit from day one, but I didn't do research on it initially, and I didn't want to really give an opinion on it because I didn't know much about it, so I didn't. I avoided the entire Ukraine Russia, uh, the Russo Ukraine war, Russo Ukrainian. War. I avoided the entire like first three weeks of that conflict because I wasn't educated on it. I didn't say anything. Like, how can you possibly look at that behavior and say, oh, well, that's somebody that just forms opinions to get clout? That's fucking so stupid, right? Vosh was raking in huge views on this. Hassan was getting massive views on this. Like, there are plenty of things that I don't comment on that could get me tons of views because I just don't know much about it. And it's like a breaking news thing. And I just chill. Like, you person after person begging to come on your stream and debate you and set you right and go no I, why are you saying these things Destiny? can i get over there or no maximize his effect he he wouldn't be saying some of the things that he's saying you know and and i think that there's something interesting about someone who is willing to you know even when he puts his foot in his mouth come out and and say how he truly i think feels. that's because you're looking you're looking at this from the position that... of him just benefiting himself. You have to realize that he also operates off an extreme level of fucking spite. So he's perfectly willing to hurt True. himself to hurt other people. So, for example, 10K a month lost on Twitch right now um, and has just got more and more ridiculous and extreme since he left the platform. There's nothing to connect his band right now. What have I gotten more ridiculous and extreme on? Like, oh my God, dude, this... You're gonna die. You have no poise. Oh, fuck me. Hold on. Hold on! No! Sorry. To him being spiteful that's, in any ways. Like, that's, that's cutting. Such a that's cutting. Claim that that's again, cutting. That's not what I said, Aradite. That's you not what I said, Aradite. That's not what I said, Erudite, you okay? You can calm you down your saying? insane simpery for just half a second, <laughs> all right? Um, and listen to the words that come out of my fucking mouth. Sure. What I said was, he got banned, and his behavior since he's been banned, right, has just got more spiteful, more deranged. He said more things that would be unacceptable on the Twitch platform that break TOS, right? Um, and make like him less likely to be able to come back on the platform. Any member of Twitch staff seeing the, some of the shit that he's been saying on like Twitter over what? the last fucking, uh, what is it, like a week and a bit since he got banned, uh, isn't going to go, oh yeah, yeah no, I'd like to actually you? review this guy's ban and put him back on a platform. Do you so want me to be here defending to his Twitter? I mean, uh... Uh, yeah, there, he's there willing are, to lose I mean, 10k a month to keep doing that. I, I'm not going to sit here and defend his, uh, 
his attacks against other uh, individuals in the manner. No, oh yeah, they're trans. You can't say anything mean about them online. Oh no. I'm saying that like just because you think that some of these positions have hurt him, right? I'm saying that like his he hurting him isn't necessarily like losing money or whatever. This well, guy like I mean we're talking pretty... about what 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 he represents. Yeah, we, what uh, Destiny uh, represents uh, is a, a, like a hyper rational. I mean, not that he is hyper rational <laughs> or all knowing, but the manner in which he approaches issues is rationality and true, uh, conversation true. for Ben and, Shapiro and, facts and logic good one so okay, okay, people, people, hold on can we so we're Matt, Matt like you go ahead real quick because you've been trying to butt him for a little bit but we've got section and flow trace both waiting to talk right now yeah um I mean I think we can like at the very least say he's like rationally divisive right like at the very least there's like a distinct lack of respect that he demonstrates to the individuals he like interacts with true he disagrees with them yeah and well when they're dumb fucks. Respect that he demonstrates to people from time to time it's not everybody but he, he's definitely done it is like the problem and what makes him kind of um a prior to some and then a hero to others because people don't want to have to deal with that and i think uh on some level it's actually really significant that he is doubling down on his like uh, behavior pattern after leaving Twitch. I think like on some level, uh, some measure of humility coming from someone who has been so divisive would actually be good for the space. No, but he's and doubling down on the position so, he believes. He, he's doubling down on a position so, that he that he genuinely so, so, holds. Nah, he's so, not. So, so I, I want to nah, say, nah, he's not. Nah, he's not. Everybody's like me. We just fake shit for credit. He's just like me because I do that. This is an interesting question. Of to what extent is destiny's style of rhetoric and abrasiveness unique to him and to what extent is it relevant to the sort of potential cost benefit analysis that we're talking about uh i'm gonna pass it to section who's been waiting for a while and then we're gonna go to flow trace and then not so erudite did you have your did you have your hand up can i really ride this oh, blade yeah. up I'm sorry. all right go ahead section and then mad lad i got you in at the end of that for now and vivian uh, you don't have a webcam but uh, feel free to mess dm me or put in voice chat if you'd like to uh, uh get your hand in there Awesome. So I think this might be a little bit weird, but the way I try to approach conversations is that I try to re-articulate what other people have said and reflect onto them what they've said. So wow. Better understand what a great what idea. To say before I try to respond to them or before I try to inter interject. Amazing. So smart so, to do that. Next, Vivian, if I'm understanding you and I'm asking. I'm being really mean for no reason. Sorry. Totally point it out if I'm wrong. Um, you're saying that when we look at Destiny on the whole of the macro of all of his actions and particularly his recent actions concerning like the transports debate and things like that, the positions he presents are those positions that they are positions that he maybe doesn't hold. And when he does hold them, he presents them in hyper inflammatory ways. And also when he's interacting with people, he has this problem where he he's somewhat uncharitable to them. So he'll respond to things that they haven't really said, and he'll he'll kind of like he'll attack those almost straw man positions, those reductive and correct positions. Is that like an accurate representation of what you're saying? Fuck. Um, fuck my ass. I, mean, I guess in part, fuck mainly me. I was fuck just me. come I was fuck just me, come fuck me, crap. Uh, Dishonesty uh, part of the argument, right? I, was, I I basically laughed at uh, Peace Guy for saying that Destiny is a uh, a very honest person. Um, because I do think that that's a ridiculous claim, but I think he's very good at like trying to make. How it many how many sentences more do we get into this debate where Vivian's talking about like I was in the streets fighting with anti or fighting with fascists on behalf of Antifa? I was there fighting. I got beat up. I got a bloody nose from a fascist cop. Blah blah blah. That she brings up yeah, every fucking conversation. Fuck. Sometimes. Um, and Pisco, you, you know, Pisco counted for well some of the positions he takes hurt him, um, and I gave you know, reasons as to why I don't think that some of these positions hurt him and some of the positions that do Why do you keep him, talking about how I lost I 10K a month the then? Out of spite. Wait, so do they hurt me or do they not? Can generally afford to take the hit or he's just so fucking uh, oh. lost in the source. Frankly. So I'm, it's, uh, sometimes, sometimes I'm lost in the source, sometimes I'm inconsistent, sometimes I'm spiteful. Oh, okay. Somebody else. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to get She talks into, like a fascist, by the way. Speculating on the contents of Destiny's character. because My I, opponent I is simultaneously, really like, all-powerful, uh, all-knowing, and also weak right, and so stupid at the same time. Sure. Like, Okay, I, I get it. Sorry, well, I mean, you need to go for it. Go ahead. Like, if we're going to speculate on whether he's honest, like, I think I'm perfectly within my rights to say that I don't believe that he is. Sure, sure, sure. I'm not going to I'm not going to pretend to be a mind reader. This is why, right, This so this is why I would like to move the conversation into talking about the style of whether, again, like I said, whether or not the nature of his rhetoric, the extent to which the nature of his rhetoric is unique to him, and the extent to which 
his uh, that rhetoric uh, uh, is is harmful to the goals that we're uh, we're talking about in this context. And section, you you did you did ask a question, of Vivian, but uh, I, again, I don't want to get too much back into that. I'm, I am going to pass it to Flow Trace because he's been waiting a while as well. Okay, yeah, I guess the thing that I wanted to get into is I think this question of whether or not Jesney is genuine or heartfelt, we're getting a little bogged down in the details. I think the question is ultimately whether or not that is then good, uh, speaks positively or negatively to Destiny's character, and then in the net, what we think of Destiny, not just his character, but sort of his effect. And I think the case that I want to make is I think that Destiny is a very flawed but effective ally or advocate. Not that I flawed. I think that Calm there are down, things okay? that we could all point at that we disagree with Destiny. Listen, you're not a real Destiny fan until you felt the pull of the anti-fan uh, rabbit hole, okay? But I think that the reason why I and, and many others uh, consistently come back is because we can say, you know, Destiny, I don't agree with what you did here. I might even think it's legitimately quite fucked up what you've done here. But I still think that your overall uh, effect is a good one. And that's something that I'm willing to support. I think, for example, if you look at... and I want to be clear, I'm not trying to compare Destiny to these people in terms of his positions, but I think you could make similar criticisms of potentially being dishonest or a debate bro to people like Tucker Carlson or Ben Shapiro. I don't think any of us would what the fuck are these uh, people say, talking about oh, ben, Sh or, uh, ben Shapiro is bad like for truth. the right. Certainly there are some things that Ben Shapiro has done that's bad for the right. Ben Shapiro could be a more effective advocate to the right. And I think it is important to establish that just because you're a, an effective or a good advocate doesn't mean there's room for criticism, uh, particularly things that could lead us astray, right? For example, you could say, you know, lying might be good, but it could bite you in the ass in the long term and undermine your credibility. But I think when you're evaluating Destiny on the net, it's just undeniable that overall Destiny is moving the conversation more to the left, and he is uh, helping people get out of some of the worst extremist uh, spirals that you can get into online, whether those be on the right and bringing people over to the left, or, as Pisco mentioned, moderating those extremists on the left, which is, I think, very useful to our movement, to uh, j just to be politically effective. And I think okay. that... Um, uh, or, or uh, yeah, I, I guess the last thing I, I would sort of append to that meet to that point is I think that a really good example of sort of uh, a. Uh, trade-off you have to give in order to sometimes be effective to pull people is that kind of rhetoric that you're talking about. Uh, the uh, To what extent is Destiny's blood sports unique? I don't think it's unique, but I think it's required. There's a reason why people like blood. There's a reason why they go to people like Destiny. And it's important no, we it's have not some of those blood sports the for the sake of blood. The terrifying sports. thing about Listen five and Destiny, people like her is how self-righteous they are. Pro yeah. insult is uh, sort of levied around at people. And, and I think it applies in cases where you know people are saying a lot of things but it's not any substance or they're dancing around things i i don't see destiny by and large i mean he has a huge body of work when he's debating i hear him having continuity of thought and ideas and it's not just debate bro for the sake of it it's debate bro Jesus. legitimately about ideas and it's not for the sake of optics it was the only sort of uh, i don't know uh later bitch garnish i'd put on what flow just said I, I want to let you guys speak to that if you'd like, but uh, uh, not so erudite. You were next up. Um, if the opposition wants to respond, just just so that we have better flow, I can respond after somebody who opposes these ideas speaks. Keep hating your life, then. Working yeah, class, Andy. Does anyone have something sure. specifically to say to that? To uh, to speak to to speak to that contention. Are we good? Um, Is this, I'm so done with this dungeon. I, I think really briefly because Pis what Pisco said was kind of responsive to a little bit of what I said about how Destiny brings a really, like, kind of debate bro style to the Twitch politics meta. I think that there are actually communities of people who Destiny labels as debate bros, despite his agreement that they are very smart. I think the titular example of that is when he cut all ties with the Ask Yourself vegan community, if you remember that community. So Ask Yourself is like a vegan kind of, like, super... I'm a big fan of him, his, so I don't really like to criticize him in an aggressive way, but he's... He's super debate bro -y. You know, prior to a debate that uh, Destiny had with a person called Jack Angstrike about the LTV, um, you know, he was making fun of Destiny for being a debate, um, I don't want to say it, uh, and, and after the debate he was talking about how Destiny got, you know, fucked in even more strong language than that after the conversation. And Destiny self-admits that he cut ties with that community because they were too toxic. So I think when I'm talking about the, de the debate bro community, that A, I think I'm capturing public meaning, so I'm, I'm capturing the type of meaning that people usually mean. And B, I think I'm capturing Destiny's meaning because he labels people who he agrees are good at debate with the debate bro label when he thinks that they're too toxic. Uh, so, yeah. so I would agree that the, that the term debate bro, there's a connotation there that you are in it. Uh, I think the connotation is you are in it for the win, right? You are in it because, it, not because you, you genuinely 
hold the position. Maybe you generally hold the position. That's incidental to the ultimate aim, which is well, thanks, Tesh, to for the dunk tier four on sub, other dude. people and to make this a spectacle above and beyond. Here's a sub for my favorite ideas, that faith uh, bread wing fascist stream are less than three. And so sure, that's you, my claim. Uh, but I don't I don't see Destiny that way. You know, I, I don't see Destiny uh, always taking the most optically beneficial position. Um, I, I, I think that, you know, for the most part, his beliefs as stated, except, you know, there are exceptions, no, align aren't. an array with Never. his actual beliefs. And you, well, you can see that because there's there's like a, this continuity of thought that, is, that isn't present oftentimes in these other debate um, lords. You know, you look at Vosh, and it's not that same kind of, I think, um, the same strength of continuity of thought where uh, ideas really sort of cascade onto each other and, and make sense in an order way, if that makes sense. If I can I, just... Sorry, really... Uh, oh, yes, sir. I just wanted to add on section. I noticed that you cited the book by Jonathan Haidt, um, which is maybe something that you and I can bond over because I've also read a lot of Jonathan Haidt. Um, the idea, though, that a lot of... It feels like kind of some of this boils down to, like like you said, I think your thesis is actually really well said, like tone policing, basically. And, like, we should be nicer in these spaces. I've become um, painfully aware and, and of the I, phenomenon I where debaters would say, right? Because, After every um, sentence, are more likely to be brain dead. I don't know. He talks about, like, we need to be, like... Uh, good faith actors and all these things, but like the idea of like being overly nice um, and like Didn't say nice Simon for the sake says. of niceness <laughs> actually does its own damage, right? There, there needs to be a sense of somewhat anti-fragility, particularly in these de political debate spheres where we're talking about issues that really, really fucking matter to the core of people's like identity. And so this idea that like we just have to be nice, like I, I, I have, I have a struggle with it. And so this idea of like, well, destiny brings in like kind of like mean. And ah! harsh language and all this stuff. I'm like, yeah. He no! Like, part of why he gets so heated. Like, I mean, first of all, he's a bit of a rage head, right? Which is like, fine. We actually have space in this debate for people who get super angry, right? Um, and there, there's an appeal to that because there, there's this piece of like, when we're talking about like deeply political topics, they're not just like ideas. They're also things that like cut to the core of who we are and so we care about them a lot and we like to see people get like highly emotional and invested in it we just don't want to supersede good ideas and good engagement and good rationality because of purely our emotions but this idea that we should like have one or the other i i, I don't know i don't like the tone policing lineup because i think it actually goes against um this the guy's own work later on i mean, absolutely i think i'm really 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 I need to respond to that. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> Go ahead, and then we'll try to work our way around uh, between Flowtrace, Mad Lad, and were you trying to get in, Vivian? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. But you said you agreed, by the way, right, Vivian, with what Erudite just said? Just so um, I couldn't hear you clearly. I just want to be sure I, I heard that. Oh, uh, I mean, there are going to be some caveats, but yes. Okay. okay. Cool. Sure. So really quick, I want to I want to be really transparent about how much knowledge of Jonathan Haidt's work I have. I meant like I just finished the intro part of his first uh, of his book, The Righteous Mind, and I'm really excited to work through it. I've been taught part of it as part of a cognitive science course, but I'm I'm super eager to hear more. I think that what you're talking about is stuff that I actually <laughs> have heard from him a lot. I think that you know the, uh, in some of his other conversations on the internet and his TED talk and a lot of this stuff, he talks about the fact that the way college campuses treat um, students right now. Um, I, I don't know if he mentions it, but I think trigger warnings are a great example for uh, as like a key example of this type of hyper hypersensitive hypersensitization problem. I think I think that we do absolutely have this problem where we cause each other to where where we prevent other people from being even remotely moralized, and we can't listen to them if they are somewhat moralized. I think that what I'm advocating for is more in line with what I've read so far in the Righteous Mind where he intro. advocates that we try to be less hateful of people who, this is have, honest. Um, who have these different moral foundations. I think that we can say that people people should both be willing to hear more people who have different moral foundations than them, different moral kind of, um, like moral based thought than them, without saying something along the lines of every single like massive, incredibly incendiary comment by everybody is okay. And I think Destiny far, far goes out into the territory of not okay when he's like tweeting Thanos snap memes at people whom he hates because they <laughs> contradicted themselves on like rumor stories. Like I think that when we talk about that, he's gone way past the line. That's of way past the line? Wait, wait, you guys are children, man. Unironically, mm. it's so sure. sensitive. But the point is that even the if fuck out of here. being over incendiary. Anyway, is it over last... incendiary to do that to do a meme when someone is? I mean, I would do a similar thing to like, um, who, 
Glenn Greenwald when he's talking about, you know, the different positions and, and what about faces that he's having about Russia. I might tweet something similar. Does that make me this unsavory character? Yes. I, I want to give other people a chance to speak. I know I'm talking a lot, but really quickly, I think that yeah. it puts you towards being that type of person. And I think that when we look at Destiny on the macro, it does, like, on the whole, evaluate that he absolutely is. Yeah, but I guess like my issue is like, Thanos snaps. Yeah, this like comes down to like he's kind of being like mean, and like the reality is like political Dude, fuck tools me. of like agitation has always been deeply valuable to both sides of it, right? And we do have to draw the line of like when is agitation valid or not valid. Um, but overall, like I I think the this like tone policey thing, like the reality is that like people want to tune in when people are like actually engaging in like somewhat level of like hot passionate like engagement it builds like tension it makes people like actually care about the topics because it feels like both deeply ideological but also human right um and so just overall like i, I think this idea of like well destiny just shouldn't be mean he should just stop being so mean he's crossing the line of being mean i'm just like what do you mean like what line how are we quantifying this line people are just as mean back to him um in fact lots of people initiate being like mean back to him so like, where where do we draw this line or, or do we just say everyone should just stop being mean and we should go back to just being really nice and kind of like redo all of twitch politics I think, that's that's right. a line, I think that's a line that should be acceptable on the platform and i think twitch have pretty much drawn it out in their tos i think what you start straying into like mocking people's fucking suicide attempts and shit that's not even uh, in the tos the you stupid you bitch probably just not be on the platform anymore because we shouldn't we shouldn't want to have those kind also of stop calling it a suicide a attempt it wasn't involves, fuck you um you know uh minors for starters but also just a huge amount of uh like people who are from marginalized identities sorry guys in this video i dropped the b word it's a hard b word what i wanted to do is demonstrate to my interlocutors that their language does not scare me and i thought that the most effective way to do that would be to take their own insults and to turn it on them i don't remember the meme okay sorry and so on like uh this is first and foremost like a gaming platform um and and you know i, d I don't know why twitch would want to have that kind of shit on this platform and i don't think they should want to have that kind of shit on this platform maybe but i think then we have to hold the ruler the same to everyone else we probably uh, i can people who've like threatened sure. to shoot up the twitch headquarters on the platform but they well didn't yeah the exactly um all, all sorts of things and to be honest the idea that like tos lines it out really clearly is yeah, not true a it's joke actually within the company's benefit to be as vague as possible about their language so that they can kind of make jurisdictional decisions based on like a whole bunch of societal factors right like a huge issue that i have with twitch overall um is the lack of transparency around bans like we don't actually fundamentally know what he was banned for there's a lot of speculation about yeah. what it is michael malice has said he's he interested got, in interviewing you on his youtube channel do you know him what is and when you go on the show email. don't know so him but like sure still this question of like so what the fuck precisely was it we think it's about the trans debate what if it's not that at all like what if it's some other random thing and we're all freaking out over this can you show Nick Fuentes on stream or some shit? I, oh, can I, yes, can I, his ban had nothing to do. It's, it's, it's pretty explicit. It, 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 so Vivian doesn't even know why I got I mean, banned. I want, I want to let Mad Lad and why also I want to give Flo Chris an opportunity to speak to, the, to these subjects if he would like to, since he has, has his hand raised for a while. I just want to interrupt. I, I have to say this. I'm obligated, especially as a small streamer. Resmi, please just gifted 20 subs to the channel. That's uh, by far my biggest uh, contribution so far. So thank you so much, man. $100 Ooh. to the community. Jeez. What a fucking meathead. But uh, that being said, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for uh, uh, to help substantiating the meat, as I say, this being the meat in this case. But uh, uh, Flow Trace, did you have anything particular to say to that? I want to give Mad yeah. Lad a, uh, an uh, opportunity, but he's been up for a while. I, 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 Mad Lad, if you have something you just want to get it right now, uh, go for it. I can go after it. Yeah, know. I mean, it, it, so it, it, oh! uh, it actually is like kind of relevant to this a lot. Like, there's a difference between like being nice and being kind. Like, I think uh, Ana Kanda did like a whole like, little five minute video talking about this, and I thought it was like pretty uh, principled. Like, if someone is, has like the intentions of being kind and like going out of their way to do nice things for other people, that's cool. But like, you shouldn't be pressured into doing things. Like, being nice just for the sake of the show. So, like, I can wife. definitely understand wait until uh, why tone policing can be evidence. problematic. Open that. Um, that being said. The issue I have with Destiny is that he deliberately chooses not to be kind when he has the opportunity to do so. Ah! Um, and uh, I think there's like a lack of respect that he has for other people that uh, interact with him. And I'm not saying like 
oh, I hate Destiny, he can go fuck off. Like, I've got, like, you know, some issues with him, but, like, I feel, from what I understand, Whoa. I can say all the stuff. To, what I do appreciate about him is I can say what I have to say right now, and then, like, I should be able to have, like, a fine interaction with him in the future. So, like, that is kind. I can appreciate that. What I can't appreciate, though, is the lack of respect for fellow streamers. So, like, for example, uh, my art piece, the League of Legends game I played as I joined the stream, um, there was a uh, prearranged discussion between uh, Destiny and the Silly Sirius. Uh, 7 a.m. Silly Sirius' time. She's in Australia, he's in the States. He was playing League before it and didn't finish his game in time, so he made her wait 45 minutes prior to engaging with her. And I'm not saying that this is like, you know, the one thing that decides everything. This is an anecdotal story, but an example like that. <laughs> what the fuck? What is even happening right now? At doing things like that, having the choice, being able to choose between your- Okay, like there are times when I miss times or whatever, but like you can talk to literally any fucking streamer. You can ask Dylan, you can ask Prime, you can talk to anybody else. Like for the most part, I'm pretty reliable when it comes to times of shit. The average streamer is dog shit when it comes to getting back to people, when it comes to doing anything, okay? If I have like a history of being anything, it's usually I'm pretty reliable in terms of my communications, unless I really don't want to do anything. But like, come on, dude, are you fucking serious? One time, like he played another league game and he was late to a talk. Give me a fucking break. your game and your stats or whatever and like you know valuing the time of a fellow human being is an important decision to make and i do feel like as a result and based on all the other things i see that i think it's fair to say on some level that destiny has like kind of a lack of respect for uh, his fellow humans and that's like kind of what the problem is like i think if he was like kind of pensive about it i think if he was apologetic if he has hurt people i think if he went out of his way to do things that were kind in nature after he's done something shitty because like i've done shitty things all the time like i'm not like a sort of superhero i just feel bad afterwards and then i step back and say hey you know maybe i should have fucking done that right maybe i should like i should have made i, I needed to make an apology video my like bad that. i guess and that's all i think destiny needs to do I guess this just flies in the face of like we also see like as a large content creator he's also one of the most generous he gives his space to other content creators all the time apparently that's um, it and so like sure was that situation inconsiderate maybe i would I would also depend on like how did joe feel about it like was she like oh that's totally fine i'm just getting ready anyways right like i don't know i don't know what the dms were like but it's like it's possible that he messaged was like hey shit this is going on what do you want to do and she's like oh i don't mind waiting 45 minutes and then it's like then it's a non-issue right um and so like, and this idea of like, well, he doesn't respect, like, to be honest, like, I don't think you have to respect other content creators. Like, you should probably- Fuck! She actually heard this guy- t This guy must have been talking about this for a long time. I just checked her DMs or whatever. She messaged me a while ago and she said, I heard someone say you're a bad streamer because you made me wait 45 minutes to talk to you so you could play League. I'd like to remind you that you lost that game. I wonder what else, um, fuck, I wonder if we talked. Hurry the fuck up, you absolute low value male. Okay, she was actually harassing me, okay? So, <laughs> there's the story on that, all right? Do the best to be, like, polite sometimes, but, like, um, this is something, or probably me and Miss Viv. She is Australian, like, though, so we have to cut them like, some slack. I, I, Our I standards for them are way lower. Other content creators. I should probably try to be considerate, probably, like, be, like, you She know, should be kinder. Yeah, true. As as possible. But, like, he doesn't respect a lot of content creators specifically because he thinks their opinions are dog shit, right? Um, which it's is not so you're a dime at it, yeah. Just, like, um, I'm an inconsiderate so. asshole who, like, steps all over people and never pays it back. Like, Destiny goes above and beyond to spend, like, five minutes to, like, boost people's careers constantly he's like helped in like levying his platform to like get politicians more views and stuff like that and so like i don't know just this idea of like he's not like necessarily kind or respectful i'm like i don't know i see a lot of evidence contrary like i, I think he's fallible um seems like he was maybe inconsiderate in that moment with joe but i don't know <laughs> is it example? kindness <laughs> like is it being kind to be kind to the people you like and then disrespectful to people you dislike though like I, so there's a lot of people on this platform yeah respect is earned that motherfucker I strongly disagree with like emphatically um, but I still have good relationships with them. I'm still friendly with them. I don't yeah, like you're a spineless them bad fuck. for their opinions Who's that I think are great. I'm not yeah, even calling it a dog shit take. 
I even said aren't great, right? Like I'm trying to cage my language and make people feel like they're welcome to engage with me. Yeah, do and they I call you a rapist? To that. So like I will super disagree on this point, but I understand what you're saying. He has done some nice things and I do appreciate some of the things that he's done. Absolutely. Yo, is there and a now, bonfire uh, here before or what? I, forget, what I did want to say I do agree with the weird vagueness of Twitch uh, language, just for the record for everyone who's uh, here. Um, sure, I do sure. think... I I, I don't okay. know why that keeps getting brought up. Like when I when I say like he stepped clearly over uh, TOS, like he stepped clearly over the bounds of what I think anybody thinks should be acceptable on this platform. And or say that not TOS person who right. isn't just completely like, oh, we should be able to destroy and like fucking throw out death threats or whatever, right? Like, and I understand when that get, when you get to the point of like mocking people's suicide attempts, I think that's a point at which we say like why that's that's a fine attempt? red line to draw. I think that and definitely just, falls under uh, hateful conduct. It definitely falls under harassment. Right? It's not it's hateful by definition. Terms, you don't even know what hateful is. How does she not know? Them. I think that definitely does. But, but, but let's be clear. Oh, but, but, about my point is, uh, just real was. quick, uh, Peace Go, just real quick. I just want to say, I understand what you're saying, Viv. Like, my point, though, is that the platform is... Yeah, they're like, unclear. Right, okay, hold on. Unless I'm missing, like, conversations that don't, that I just don't understand. Every single time hateful is brought up insofar as like legislation goes like for the uk or for tos like with twitch holy skyrim or with um or like um twitter or face Keep facebook or anything else working class andy hateful doesn't mean like being hateful or being mean or like making fun of like really bad stuff she hateful, is even worse than a bonger hateful every she is may all forgive me for uttering this word nice hateful every single time i've seen um hateful brought up is always referring to making fun of people for like things like gender um sexual orientation sometimes age i think veteran status this is what hateful conduct is on every single social media platform i've ever seen in my entire life i have never in my life you can go and bring up like uh tos's or community guidelines for like twitch twitter facebook anything else i've never seen hateful conduct be like making fun of like a suicide attempt that would just be that'd be bad or mean or whatever or maybe like it would follow something else but hateful almost always um is like calling on like some protected class and, and attacking that. Like a hate crime isn't just when you're like, when you hate somebody a lot and you commit a crime against them. It's usually like bringing up like race, religion, sex, sexual orientation, stuff like that. There's a bonfire at the crossroads. They're very, they're very inconsistent. The point was known mad lab this whole time. Okay. You can also be kind kinda. and mean at the same time. Like they're not mutually exclusive spectrums. Like I believe you can be an incredibly generous person. Yeah, you call it harassment asshole, if you want, sure. Right? Both of these things can exist in the same continuum. Viv, when you say making fun of someone's suicide attempt, uh, my understanding was he was doubting whether a suicide attempt was genuine or not, which I would dist he was doubting that it was a suicide attempt at all. Isn't that I a mean, different thing? That's way that's too much nuance that, for this conversation. I can't even believe Pisco would try that's to introduce that. Thing. What a I dumb fucking thing to do. Uh, it should uh, be. No, but it could be. But no, it's, if it's people are going on social media no, 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 claiming no, 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 no. suicide Thank you, Matt, for clout, um, but there's a serious problem with that, and we should actually probably call out that behavior, right? Because Yeah, you probably should if it's actually fucking happening, but you better be goddamn. For the record, Doe's suicide attempt was eating 10 Benadryl, just for the record, so that we're all on the same page for that, okay? That was Doe's suicide attempt, okay? And then a poem on Twitter followed. I'm fucking sure it's happening before you do. And I, this is not like, this is, if you're thinking of like the most recent, uh, the most recent posts that you Or it might have been 8 Twitter, Benadryl, sorry. Yeah, those are real fucking bad, dude. But like, when it first happened, he was straight out the fucking gate with it as well. Okay, so don't like... <laughs> I, I'm not it's, making a. I'm not saying that it's a good thing that people out of the gate, without evidence, specific evidence of someone's particular situation, accuse someone of faking a suicide attempt. I'm not saying that that behavior is acceptable, right? That that's the behavior, but that that is a different behavior than mo than mocking a genuine something that you think to be a genuine suicide attempt. In his that that changes our perspective. There's literally no. What I understand Pisco saying it is true, but there's no like, reason if to he even actually thought it was a genuine suicide attempt and he was making fun of it, we would think of him differently than, well, he just doubts that it was a su suicide attempt at all. I, I'm not, right, just doubting the probably why he, doubting. Which is, which is why, probably why he like moved back to doubting after first mocking. But like, 
<laughs> it doesn't really make any fucking difference in terms of like what kind of uh, what kind of the mocking thing is that you shouldn't do a real suicide attempt and then immediately go online and start posting poetry for everybody to yas soy queen over you for it's not a healthy thing to do for the individual it sets a horrible precedent publicly because now it looks like suicide is the best way to get a fuck ton of positive attention and it shows that the community is garbage because they celebrate her return to the most toxic platform immediately after a tempting it's just it's a horrible everything about that is dog shit everything about that is dog shit why do you think they do that because for attention because it's the easiest way to farm a fuck ton of positive attention and it works you get a ton of attention doing it but it's like it's such a toxic cancerous thing to do and to showcase that behavior online and have everybody like and to have everybody yas queen over it it's just it's it's beyond fucked up like it's beyond fucked up it's still an automatic optics loss why even make it because i'm not vosh rules of um uh like social interaction. everything is an optics loss when your opponent dresses up in, in in whatever outfit they need to to make it so that they're like unimpeachable okay that's bullshit every criticism of a trans person every criticism of somebody with 15 mental illnesses in their profile every single fucking possible thing that you can say or do to put in your profile to make you unimpeachable like is an optics loss but like that's bullshit like you shouldn't be able to do that and they destroy these fucking conversations and then if i wanted to cry and be emotional and i think i could do it i wish i i wish i could do it but i can't right when you've had people in your life that have actually committed suicide it feels really fucking weird to see other people fake it online and then collect a whole bunch of like positive validation and attention for it it feels really fucked up it's really fucking strange right when you consider how many people are suffering in silence how many people kill themselves with nobody even fucking noticing because a lot of these people don't even talk to their family like it's just really fucking weird to see somebody literally i don't know how many people even fucking i don't i don't even know i don't know i have this in my um actually hold on i should I, i'm maybe people think that i'm like making this up i'm sorry hold on i i because i normally show material i don't know how many people are actually familiar with this like after they attempted this is what they put on in their twitter profile they started writing fucking poetry. And I think it's about like an X or some stupid shit. Um, I swallowed as much uh, diphenhydramine as I could, upwards of 700 to 800 milligrams. I, this is like 10 Benadryl, okay? It's not even, you're not even at the LD50 for a 50 kilogram woman. Um, not, but like, and then like, we've got like all this like dramatic writing, the dramatic spacing, like more poetry. This is disgusting. This is actually fucked up. Like, it, this is so disgusting that you would write this, tweet this out, and then have a whole bunch of people, like, soy clapping you for it. Like, it's actually so fucking crazy. Like, if you if you really, if you seriously, if this is happening, get the fuck off Twitter and get some fucking help. And that's what everybody should say to you. They should say, hey, Doe, you're batshit insane. Get the, log the fuck off and go get some help for your problems. Why the fuck would you run onto Twitter, like, at, on the, out of the fucking emergency room and start writing poetry for people to yes queen you on? This is beyond fucking crazy. It's insane. But because of how these people have labeled themselves, they're completely unassailable. You can't say anything negative about it you can't even begin to question the fact that maybe this is like some fucked up shit because of how people have because of how they id these days it's but, but, but he would point to this thing? right viv he would point to this as a um paradigmatic example where he would say, take umbrage with what you just said i never mocked anyone for suicide attempt i just said they weren't real suicide attempts and he would construe what you did as bad faith, twisting what his arguments are. And he would use that as, and, and maybe he, there's too much self-pity in him and we should like <laughs> condemn this kind of like, what about ism? Where the this fuck kind is of the like, bonfire? Oh, you can go um, cry. When you fucking, he, when you step into that, when you step into that arena and you start doing that kind of, that level of heinous shit, no, I don't think you should be welcome on a fucking platform like Twitch. Is, is no. this dough, to, is this take, the dough situation? That, just for clarity, I just want to understand the context. Is this the dough situation um, that you're thinking of specifically? Just so that I have yeah, groundings yeah. for where, which landscape we're talking about. Yeah. The but, uh, but I want no trace okay. to go. But once you step into once you step into that arena, I don't think we should have that kind of show on Twitch. Like right. so the context that of that Destiny shit, that making fun like of the, the nasty, suicide uh, no, attempt no, no, was that Doe yeah, made no. a, claimed that they made a suicide attempt and then was Oh, you're a diet, you shouldn't go down this road. Calling oh my god mentally sick right away. That was the context of the whole situation, and he was outlining kind of the Irony and oh, this is such an optics lizard for her. She should never, ever, ever try to. Online bullying and all this stuff. Oh, thank and then God. going online and calling people mentally sick. And weaponizing essentially the attempted suicide to avoid the accountability for doing those types of behaviors. True, but. 
Flow Trace. Nobody uh, wants to touch. a little bit of a silence here. I want to take this opportunity to let Flow Trace speak because he has been bursting at the seams with uh, words for yeah. a while. I right? think sort of getting outside of the specific example of the suicide and sort of getting back to the more fundamental point that I think Section was getting at, I think it's about a balance. I think actually the point of Ask Yourself actually speaks to Destiny's defense. There's Destiny gets some of the good of being a debate bro, which does have real appeal, but doesn't go too far like I think uh, uh, you would agree Ask Yourself does, to the where it actually harms your ability to reach people. Uh, being an effective advocate means you have to be appealing, and people want a bit of blood force. They want someone that's assertive, they want someone that's confident. I think there are reasons why typically people that are very successful pundits tend to follow very similar kind of archetypes. And it is because of these reasons why Destiny is big and has a huge reach, and we want our advocates to be having that reach. I think it's also important, a sort of wrinkle to this, it's important to note that Destiny functions as a niche. Destiny's appeal is not supposed to be to our society writ large, he's appealing to the Twitch space of, frankly, if we're being honest, like gamers and online people. And I think in that context, though it feels kind of sad, it feels kind of bad to say this, being a bit of a toxic rage head is actually a boon. I think it actually does let him reach like gamer bros who would never listen to like a stereotypical like male feminist type approach. I wish that they would, I want to be clear, that I'm not trying to, like, to defend that, but I think it's the case that like, the fact that destiny rages out at lee like sometimes says the r word i think unironically helps him reach people that otherwise would be lost to us and that's fundamentally i think what we should be caring about the most and then i guess finally i hear you section and mad lad destiny could endeavor to be better whether we could call that niceness or uh, be nice or kind or wh whatever we do it but i think that's true of everyone i think you need to be making a more specific claim that destiny is cannot be better, but he is not good enough. And uh, he's not good enough to the point that it justifies the deplatforming. And then I think once you make that standard, it's going to be very vulnerable because it's a depriving us people who are good in the net, Destiny among them. Destiny is very flawed, but I think it's just undeniable that he's doing very more good flawed. than harm. And so long as that's the case, I think it's okay to have him as someone that's on the left and if I, uh, If I open a children's hospital, how many babies can I kill? <laughs> well, I think that I would say zero because I would right. make a distinguishing because so, I would. So there's probably red, there's young, like red lines, okay. right? That like it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter if you think that like oh overall this person's done like quite a lot of good. That doesn't give him a pass on doing something that's heinous enough that you should not want to associate with them. What's the most Correct. heinous thing he's ever really done? Quick. Oh, oh, let, that's a good one. What is the most? I, I, I want to let I want to I want to let uh, I want to let uh, whoever would like to answer that question, and then sections have been uh, trying to get him for a while. What is the most heinous thing Mad that Destiny has ever done? Uh, the dough ship was definitely when I. When that's I the war! Come yeah, on! I'm, can we think better? I'm, can we? Let's come on. We can probably find something better. What's like the worst thing that I've ever done besides playing League? We've got to be able to think of something better than a suicide. Pro I feel like probably some of my old tweets. I think that telling the one woman to get raped with a shovel is probably a pretty bad one. The burning cross tweet, I stand by that until the day I die. That was a good ass tweet. Obama. Game of Thrones spoilers? No, that was also good. They needed to be spoiled, okay? Obama. The Cox bomb threats? No, that was also... <laughs> I stand by those. <laughs> no, not enemy in a video game I do. What just... What was this jump? Calling that one league player the F word. That was bad. Shouldn't have done that. I've got no more time for this guy. So that incident was the single most heinous thing that you know that he's done. Uh, so far, yeah, but I don't follow him, like, Jesus. Super, super fucking close. Babe, you tweet about me all the time. Enough, You're, like, my number one fucking fan. It warrants, uh, him not being on the platform anymore. Yeah, I think that one single incident... Jesus! Right, ...would be enough to say, you know, uh, you can't come, uh, you shouldn't be on the platform. That's beyond the uh, pale. Maybe you are talking, like, a, like a, like a semi-permanent ban, but if, like, with good behavior could come back or whatever. But, you know, he's decided that he's going to keep doubling down and repeating the behavior. So at this point, I think, like, just saying, well, fuck off is, is fine. With the situation with Doe, my understanding is that Doe initiated it by making fun of Destiny for accidentally taking meth. Is that correct? Oh, shit! Um. Wait, did this happen? She might, wait, she might have actually said something to me, which is what triggered this response. Fuck. I always forget that other people start fights with me. Okay, also, regardless of what you think about me, making fun of me for, I'm not gonna say I got drugged, but like, that's a little bit fucked up. That's a little bit fucked up, right? 
Like, oh my god, these guys got different drugs and they bought, like, isn't that so funny? Like, let's make a phone. I feel like if that was anybody else, I feel like I would be, if it was a trans person, I would instantly be destroyed, right? Because, whatever. But, like, that seems a little bit... No idea. Of course you don't fucking know, um, Viv, because so you're a brainless fucking Would that mom. color, if that was true, would that color your nope. interpretation? Nope, she's going to say no. If no. you knew no. that... No, so, so no you amount say of or do anything. would... Um, no, would make That's that too far. incident in your mind look better for Destiny. Never, nothing. Or change the fact. Um, anyway, I mean, you can talk about like mitigating circumstances. They were doing a murder, but you still go to fucking jail if you murder somebody. No, that's not even. I true. think it's important for us. Like, <laughs> Wait, like, if what? There are literally fucking defenses to get off from quote unquote murder, depending on the mitigating circumstances. Murder. That Let's was even a bet. The Peace most go. Good faith interpretation of that incident. And the most bad faith interpretation this of that incident, a, and this ask is ourselves, what which is this is more likely? This is literally something that I would never do under any fucking circumstance. You, 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 you think Destiny is hateful care, towards trans people? Sorry? You think Destiny is hateful towards trans people as uh, as a group? Do I think he's yes. Hateful? Sorry, as, as, as a, a group? Say it. So, so say it, Viv. Of course. What, yes. what I mean is, trans people, qua trans people, like, uh, do you think that he is transphobic? In other words, yes. Do I think Same. that he's trans? I think he has some transphobic positions. Oh my right? god, what a pussy Do I think ass that he's bitch! Like, has a hatred for trans people? I don't fucking know, dude. I can't read the guy's mind. I, I um, find on trans issues, Destiny. In, in terms of, if you're positioning Destiny on a line of Americans in America, trans positive versus normal America, I would put Destiny possibly like the 98th... in the ninety ninth percentile. Yeah, of trans positive. Okay. Um, now, you, you might say, well, that's unfair, you know, you, but, but I'm holding to the standard of, like, normal society. And, yeah, there's a position, namely trans um, individuals in sports, where he does not come on the quote-unquote side of trans people. Okay. That, and to me, doesn't um, make you a transphobe, right, necessarily. Did I, if did you, I, I, I literally, I yeah, don't understand. know why you're trying to litigate this. Like, I, I literally said, I think he has some transphobic positions. I can't read his fucking mind. Like, would you consider that, you know, saying that you don't yeah, want trans women in sports, that's a transphobic position? Yeah, it is. Yeah, there he is. Okay. <laughs> what? Um, can, I, can I really quickly oh, respond to that? To be fair, though, Vivian has the most extreme take possible on this. Um, I don't know if anybody has the tweet thread. It'd be nice if I could bring it up on stream so it doesn't sound like I'm making this up. But I believe Vivian said, no, wait. It, it might have been Mind Waves that said this. It was either Vivian or Mindwaves that said that if Kobe Bryant tomorrow identified as a woman, he should be able to play in the WNBA. Does anybody remember that you, you don't even need to be on HRT to play in the Women's League? Was that Mindwaves? Okay, never mind. That might have been Mindwaves. All right. Yeah, Mindwaves had like a crazy... Oh, he said LeBron, not Kobe. Also, sorry. Fuck. <laughs> Fake news, guys. My bad. <laughs> I was just, be, just trying to be a little, a little maliciousness in there. My bad. This tweet, too. Oh, never mind. She did say something. Okay, I mixed them up, but she did say something to that effect. Do you think a trans woman who doesn't have any desire to take HRT should be able to compete in women's sports? Yes. Okay, so essentially the same thing. All right. I understand that people want to talk about this more too. Sure. Uh, I kind of wanted to... Uh, yeah. Mad, Mad Lad, I'm going to let Mad Lad button in, and I'm going to try to get you in here in a second section. Don't worry. I'm so, it's a uh, uh, problem I, that really, the thing that really set me off about Destiny is actually very related to the uh, I'm not questioning the monsters, suicide this. thing, actually. Um, there was this talk about uh, mental health and whether you should, like, uh, I forgot the term. Uh, self, uh, it's not self assess. What's the uh, self diagnose? Like oh, basically, -diagnose. yeah, self diagnose. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, there's like this sort of like discussion about self diagnosis and like dealing with mental health and whatnot. And it wasn't like his specific take on the position that was the problem. It was this idea where he was actually like deciding and like questioning the uh, claims of people and like what their mental ailments were, right? So, Jesus. like, he's actually, like, kind of encouraging this sort of discourse where it's, like, okay to, like, when someone says, hey, I've got this going on or that going on, like, on some level, we have to be charitable. We have to, like, you know, take their words into consideration. And he's kind of advocating for this take on some level. Where yeah, but, like, where are we at right now with this, right? Right now, the current discourse is 
Anybody is whatever they say themselves are, 100%, no question. That's not it. That ain't, that ain't it, Chief. There's got to be something between that and the conservative reality of, like, we don't believe anybody saying anything ever. There have to be some metrics by which, like, ontologically, things aren't what they are because people say they are those things. It doesn't make any sense. There has to be some way by which we can evaluate people's statements. Otherwise, you get this, like, if you want an instant win, Destiny, she agreed with your position in 2019. I don't even think this gives me an instant win. <clears throat> Matt Dillahunty hasn't stood by the ACA mission statement because he hasn't made up his mind yet. He's just exercising due caution. I mean, it's not a bad take, really. He probably made it before seeing your video, too. The transport issue is complicated and intuitively. It may seem like trans people do have an unfair advantage, especially if you listen to some media. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure they don't in some sports. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. Who knows? Maybe she's spite driven now. He's saying, well, no, not necessarily. I, I think I'm going to actually kind of do this cannonball into the danger water here and say, I don't really think this person is this. Now, he's not, he, when he talked about it in a public space, he was saying, well, publicly I wouldn't do this, but uh, privately amongst my friends, I would have this uh, position. Now, the point is, he did say that publicly, though. <laughs> like, so it's not private. <laughs> and that yeah. was my problem. But that itself, so, so that position of recognizing, first of all, uh, the appropriateness of certain jokes, um, you know, only being appropriate in a private context. Is that such an unreasonable position to say? Is that the most well, unreasonable thing you ever heard? I mean, or does that you, sound you, exactly that. accurate, in fact? Once and you that say that in public, though, like, no, that's so that's stupid. Once you say it, wait, honest, what? Right? So what he's saying is <laughs> something that most people aren't willing to say, which is context matters right knowing who you're around matters and uh, you know I, i'm i'm How latino hispanic I mean, right most I, people are willing to say yes obviously so i i'm going to act very this differently around I, i'm going to act very differently maybe say different jokes among my you know latin family oh, are we really into the n-word debate shit now because like mad lab brought it up so I'm, i don't know what to say i mean my, my point though is like this is if it was private absolutely i've said some horrendous jokes yo you don't even know wait this but now you right said now. it Am I allowed to respond but, to now you said it wait but now you just admitted out, it was referencing that dis discourse it, it seems fair but for me to be able to respond to that mental health discourse but you know. well, well mad i must ignore mad, mad lab now mad lab so so well, so it, we we did we we are sort of getting a little split in terms of a lot uh, some particularities here i i I don't want to interrupt too much, but I do think that Flowtrace raised a lot of good points and Section's been trying to sort of get to them for a while, so he might be able to sort of recenter us a little bit right now. Mm -hmm. uh, section. Absolutely. So I'll just kind of jump into what I wanted to say to Flowtrace, but it'll tie back into what you guys had to say, and I think I'll, I think I'll contribute to that section of the conversation too. I hope that I will. So Flowtrace, That I think section? Oh, yeah. No, you, you said that's in response that. to that section of the argument, but your name is section. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, ah, that's ah. true. I did. Um, so I think I think there were two parts to what you said, Flowtrace. You you denoted it actually with two parts. So the first part I've kind of forgotten. I think it was that right. It was that destiny exists in this good spot where he is somewhat debatey. He's somewhat inflammatory. He's somewhat you know confrontational, and that lets him have conversations with people who maybe he wouldn't have conversation. No, it was more like it was more like just that that inflammatory property is desirable. And then you explained why in your second part. You explained that people like to watch inflammatory conversations. They like to watch conversations where we're mad at each other. And the fact is, oh no, I remember. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna start one more time. You're pretty accurate. No, you're on. I was close, but it, w it was important to remember exactly how you divided it. The way you divided it was this. In part one, you said that Destiny Oh, I need some respect. There's no seven. Great amount of just in antagonistic, just kind of, not antagonistic, just inflammatory enough that people actually want to watch him. And then in part two, you got into the fact that, you know, Destiny kind of exists in this niche space. And the way he's inflammatory lets him access people who would never be accessed by somebody who was less inflammatory. Gamer bros, you know, maybe some people on 4chan. And in fact, he is, I, I think that discussions on 4chan do happen about him. Uh, conversations on Discord and like the, the deepest part of like debate spaces online. He is known and he's popular. He can access communities that nobody else can, and that's an important uh, kind of underrepresented thing souls, that he's geez. able to do. So is that is that kind of accurate about what you said? It's close enough. Awesome. So 
For the first thing, I think that I want to do some building of the world that I'm imagining and why it matters so much to me that we can try to be conflict avoidant. I think that, actually, I think I'll respond to both things in, in this one part. I, the world I imagine is a world where the most popular streamer on Twitch for politics is not Hassan, but is someone like Destiny. A Destiny that isn't super confrontational, isn't super antagonistic and blah, 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 blah. A world where, you know, the politics space is broadly not a blood sport space, but is broadly kind of like a space where we're actually trying to construct new positions and actually hear one another. This hasn't the been any political space, space ever right now in the history of all of humankind. It, is, it has this problematic uh, issue that the only person that very large creators like, um, you know, this is a funny example, but like Minecraft creator Dream had a stream with Hassan. The only person that like these larger people are even aware of is Hassan. And he's one of the worst representatives of our community, I think. I think that he actively misinforms people a lot of the time. That's a wonderful and point in Destiny's favor. That, I mean, I too wish that we had Destiny 2.0 and that we had the Terminator whatever version of, of Destiny that has all the bells and whistles, plus you remove the bad pits and you make it you know, carbon neutral, whatever Destiny version of Destiny. I would want that version of Destiny too. But right now, the alternatives, right, are people like Hassan, who, in the lead up to the conflict in Ukraine, constantly misinforming, in the aftermath, saying things like, it's justified to, you know, an like annex this, uh, this part of Ukraine. Um, Crimea. Totally unwilling to engage with others. Yeah. Arrogant to defend trans false, women to like a, um, aggressive transphobe. Like looks horrible. Cringe. Yeah, and, and, and that debate he had with a with a conservative with the easiest, most basic conservative arguments. And uh, you know, then you have people like Vosh and others who the you know, smuggest possible people. You know, seem very um, surface level in a lot of their analysis. And, and and it's a breath of fresh air to turn on a Destiny stream and to have him call out people who are talking bullshit. And yeah, he doesn't do it perfectly. Like Pisco. And yeah, he's an asshole, <laughs> but like, come on. I mean, the, the problem think is- uh, with Actually, uh, oh, there's another- No, 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 no. People, no, people do not need to interject here, okay? Sorry, I was just interrupted and I want to respond to what the person said. I'm sorry that I'm being assertive go. here, but- no, Be ahead. assertive. I'm <laughs> sorry that I'm being- yeah, a, Oh, it. God, kill hey, me. You're on, a, you're on a Twitch panel, bud. It's the, it's, it's, it is blood sports, uh, goddammit. Go ahead. Well, I, but that's the problem. I don't want it to be. So I understand the way that you can read what I was saying as being supportive of Destiny. And I, I understood that when I opened up to make the statement. I understand that there's there's a counterfactual that if we remove Destiny from the space, that we're gonna see the people who are the worst in the space replace him. That the audience that watched Destiny may in some part go watch Hassan and, and maybe even just having somebody who's critical of Hassan on the platform is good. I understand this. The claim I'm making centrally is that the fracturization of Twitch politics, the way in which nobody is ever willing to talk to each other, the way in which Vosh literally never talks to anyone, the way in which Hassan is totally isolated from the rest of the community, and the way in which every single panel that we talk on is this blood sport death match, I think it's a byproduct of our innate psychology, but I also think that it's a byproduct of the fact that the father of the entire community literally encouraged this behavior. Hassan, Vosh, and every single ma major panel on this platform comes from destiny. There is no major political streamer that I'm aware of who we cannot in some way track back to him. You, we all do this apologization for Destiny's hyper, hyper antagonistic behavior on Twitter and Twitch. But the fact mm -hmm. is, is that the way that Twitch is structured and the way that the Twitter discourse around like him is structured is his fault. He antagonizes almost everybody who disagrees with him. He antagonizes them in vile, like just horrific ways. And I, yeah. I actually, so I, I can I, his Twitter can I, can I, can I just say if, if, the, the section, can I just ask you a quick question? Oh, I, sure. I, I, I just want to ask you one question and then sort of pose a follow up problem. So I, I agree that, that next. yeah, I, I, I understand and I totally agree that uh, Destiny is it can be very aggressive and things like that. My question is number one, you talked about I imagine a world with the most po popular politics streamer is someone who like isn't very blood sporty. My first yes or no question is do you think that's realistic? Yes. Okay. It's never then, ever in the history of that, all of politics whether or been not done. You think it is realistic. Do you think it is a good idea to be actively hampering the best option we have among bad options when we do not yet have that good option? So <laughs> so to be to be clear, I think that this is going to be controversial. Oh, this motherfucker. And in fairness, I don't have a lot of experience with this content, but I took a small amount of look at his content. I think that Hassan has a virtue in his content, which is that he's incredibly conflict avoidant. 
Now that sounds funny for a like debate streamer. It's it also has the counterfactual problem that you know he never talks to anybody who disagrees with him, and that's a humongous. No problem. substance is Hassan's problem. You're yeah. not identifying. It's, it's yeah, all sorry. So no yeah, substance. Yeah, Hassan's just. A <laughs> and, 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 you say I'd what like you want to say. There is substance there. I just. I'd like to let not sorry about you. I just need to say this section. I think you're misunderstanding something. You're kind of pointing to like the nature of twitch politics debate as being kind of at the core of oh basically God. destiny kind of being like he's the father of this in this space most of these people came from this so this toxic behavior it's a result of him but he is not like this mitochondrial progenitor of political aggression the culture of debate has existed for a long time before destiny and a long time ever and i imagine there's actually a lot of content creators who'd feel super pissed off to be like what the fuck do you mean i didn't get the style of debate from the destiny 100%. i got this 100%. style from debate because I've engaged in debate a lot and it happens to be spicy. And to be honest, you got a little spicy there. And honestly, it improved the rhetoric overall because people care when you put your emotions into it. You shouldn't be ruled by it exclusively, but these topics matter. Destiny's key contribution to the political space is not aggression. It's that he aggressively turned gamer bros into left winging progressives. That's his major contribution to the space. Political aggression has existed long before Destiny and will exist long after. How about taking on those conservatives in an emphatic way that people like Hassan could never do? Or the the way he managed to do that was changing to the rhetoric in this space and in, in politics, in online politics. He he's been recognized outside this field as well. Um, and I think it's for good reasons because he's interesting to watch. Yeah, he's edgy, but there's substance there. And I am I, I would be lying if I said like it's this platform is going to miss him. Wait, how long ago and was I banned? How much gonna, longer are these conversations going to go on for? Like, <laughs> oh, maybe not, actually. Why is that? Well, Vosh just got uh, returned to Twitch. He's able to stream. This just happened in the last hour. It changes everything. But, wow. But now, com like, compare those two for a Vosh. second. And, you know, I I'm not trying to, sh to throw hate Vosh's way. Do it. But mm. this is someone I who, am. you know, at least, at least from my perspective, um, isn't truly interested. In oh, I'm not talking about Vosh specifically. I mean, like, what I, what I mean is that, like, if Vosh can come back, that means, like, all these other individuals who've been it's not banned. A, it's not a probably. substitute. It's not a substitute. It's, it's, I'm saying Destiny will probably get a man. He, he hasn't interacted with nobody either, so he won't fill a lot of the that Destiny does. Sorry. Well, Destiny will. I'm, I'm, I'm the most fervent anti Destiny fucking person here, right? And if you think there's, like, um, being uh, thinking that it's good that Destiny is off the platform means that you th that that you know we think it's good that like Fosh is I mean Fosh is off the platform as well by the way, um, <laughs> but like well, no, he's back now. Did you hear what like, he just said? Is he is he back on Twitch? He's literally back as of the last hour. And what oh, I'm right. saying is, if but Fosh like, can come back, Destiny you, can come um, back. Well, yeah, I mean, he possibly can do. It depends how much uh, how much he continues being a total asshole off Twitch, but. Um, uh fuck you totally threw me off i mean i i don't think that i don't think that these people are quote unquote good substitutes the son's a fucking idiot vosh has his own um ridiculous controversies that he involves himself in. oh god it's like such a, a far run child. like um I, I don't think we need a quote unquote substitute for destiny i don't think we're lacking something uh in incredibly uh useful uh i think you know you guys are thinking one too much in terms of like uh, vague political activism and being able to change whatever it is that you think you you can change in the real world um but i think we've you lost, would scoff if uh, we brought up georgia you'd scoff if we brought up that effort and so um, what else we, right so well, you would you i mean the I'm georgia sure you thing, were prepared the georgia for thing, us to bring it up the georgia so, thing seemed the Georgia thing seemed cool to me. Um, I think I think that seemed like a good use of like a, a large audience and a large Wait. platform. What about when um, platform with Josie Rose's uh, political movement when she was uh, when she was moving? I think it was pre her transition, but when she was moving in political office, I forget which position she was looking for. But he uh, freely just platformed her, interviewed her, and gave her a huge and other congressional candidates like that to kind of help her political career. That was cool. seemed actually did it with multiple um, people too. I mean, I, to pretend. I mean, go ahead. The point, the point that I'm making is right. Like, uh, we, like, we exist in this community, right? We, uh, we live and work together here, right? Let's not, let's not pretend that this is uh, <sighs> not oh my God. for a lot of people. Um, at least a sort of side profession, right? 
Uh, you make a, make a few extra bucks every month. Um, maybe you make a living off of it if you're a big enough streamer or whatever. Um, and we and we just exist here, and we have our communities here. There's a lot of uh, viewers that have communities here, right? Uh, who like have uh, created a social circle um, around these spaces and so on, right? And I think that when we talk about the the, the health of a space, I think trying to frame it in the uh, in terms of like uh, political advocacy and what's doing the best to advance the cause of the left in America, I think that the effects that uh, any any individual There's can have on, on that okay. um, are so minuscule as to not really fucking matter. I, 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 will, I will take the tiny hit that you seem to be saying that Destiny, uh, the loss of Destiny on this platform has to the political movement of the left in the United States. I will take that little hit uh, to not have to, uh, to have a whole bunch of people um, they don't existing know how to use in a the much black less button. toxic environment. In fact, I would say that outweighs it, right? The amount of good that he could do politically, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it doesn't measure up. Um, Flo, Flo Trace, I think, would probably like to speak to that, and he's had his hand up for a while, and I'll try, I'll try to get, get to you next medlad if you had something to say. Yeah, I guess I can respond to Vivian oh, first. Sorry, and you too. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I guess to, to respond to Vivian's specific point, uh, just for the purposes of, pur purposes of my conversation with Vivian, I'm going to assume that Destiny's Doe interaction was as bad as Vivian says, because I think it's it, it doesn't change my point. It makes it more interesting. I guess there are two metrics by which I'm sort of evaluating these red lines that Destiny has gone over. And I do agree. I, I don't think Georgia is that relevant when we're evaluating whether or not Destiny has done something that's so unforgivable that even if he's in the net good, we would still uh, be against him. And I think, firstly, we have to first establish whether or not the red line is part of doing the good. For example, I think any form of warfare carries with it some amount of civilian casualties. And I'll always 100% condemn any individual instance. I would not use that as a red line to condemn any form of warfare. That would mean condemning even justified defenses of your country where you're There's being invaded. Um, and in that same way that civilian yeah. casualties are not required to wage warfare, but are an unavoidable byproduct in some amount, so is being toxic and occasionally having a destiny moment. I think the key is to treat it in a similar way. We need to be working as hard as possible. I, so, I don't so, think the I don't think that you can make this silly comparison between collab because you could just choose to advocate for things uh, in in a better way. You could not. So one of the biggest things that I noticed right in my interactions with Destiny because I had a lot of disagreements with them over the years, right? But the point at which it became a problem is when you start essentializing your opponent as evil, right? When you start saying, for example, Viv the list that, keeper uh, Bob posting is a pedophile, right? Also very much playing into some transphobic tropes there. Oh, but very like, transphobic. When you start saying, yeah, that, this person is a pedophile. This is dangerous ground for you to walk on, because I think that you've been unfairly maligned sometimes, or maybe fairly maligned. I mean, you tell me. People say that... Something that I didn't know as well, um, and also I've said I probably shouldn't have called her a pedophile, although her behavior is very fucking sus. Something that I didn't know as well, um, and I'm finding this as I'm digging back through my manifesto stuff, I didn't call her a pedophile until she called me a rapist. Um, she was the person, I think, that initially tweeted out accusing me of raping Melina on stream. And I think that's why I hit back when she bragged about that HRT shit. I was like, okay, pedophile. It's because I made a distasteful joke about him and his girlfriend, now wife way back. He's disliked me ever since then. This was when there was a time on stream, me and Melina like fuck with each other uh, on stream a lot because we just do, it's just how we are. But there was one time we were in a hot tub doing it and then people started tweeting out and making jokes that like I was raping my girlfriend on stream. That's precisely what you do with respect to fascism and she liked this tweet, too, about the rape joke. I heard him say a week ago he shouldn't have called you a pedo, but he was mad you made a sodomy joke about Molina at Limeo. You have other people that, like, echo this claim as well. And you see, like, how people, like, repeat these things enough that like people that don't know think they're true or whatever. This gayest fresh guy is another huge hater of mine. How about the more recent one where he raped Melina on her own stream? <laughs> um, and there are like other people that make things like this. You archive those, right? Yeah, I've got like image backups of everything. Like essentializing that aspect about people and labeling well, just, them enemies. I mean, and, and I mean, what literally. do you say in response to those criticisms? I mean, there are people who I say that you have a, just, yeah. an enemy list, right? How more centralizing- <laughs> What enemy, what enemy list? 
She's gonna that play dumb one. again on this? Yeah, I know that's, Viv, that's you've gotten called up so many is, times on this cringe shit. Right? I know what people say, right? Okay. But we're talking about things that are true rather than random fucking rumors you heard on the internet about me. Can okay? I so ask you how have you feel a, a, a Oh my god, she's like, gonna try to backpedal off that again. to do anything she wants because her enemies are ontologically evil. Like, how did you feel about that post? Because I felt really uncomfortable. uncomfortable I don't know how you felt. Yeah. I mean, that's a meme that's been floating around for a little while, right? How that's I a wake meme. Up in the morning feeling that uh, knowing that my enemies are ontologically evil and any action against them. Huh. Must be cool um, to be able to make memes I like that. Seriously, Keffels, I don't know how seriously Keffels. Uh, me Holy me. fucking shit, dude! If I ask, if I get asked a question, can I answer it? Um, <laughs> I will answer yours, Dream but like. <laughs> Um, I don't know how serious, I don't know how seriously Keffel's meant that. Um, if I thought she was like deadly serious, that like actually it would be perfectly justified for her to take any action, right? I mean, that would include her like just going up to somebody's house and fucking murdering them. Uh, then obviously, that would be crazy. If people were like t riffing off of tweets, like making jokes like this, that would be actually insane. Destiny needs to be killed. Gun him down as he leaves his home. Like, this had 26 likes on this one. Must resist the urge to break TOS. Must resist the urge to break... Thousand people would be better off at a minimum if he did, though. If he killed himself. Um, I have other tweets. But, like, man, that sure would be... But I'm sure those people are all joking, too. Everybody's joking. I disagree with that strongly enough to find it disturbing. Do I think she's actually suggesting that that's the thing that should be, it'd be okay for her to do? Uh, no. Otherwise, I probably would have said, I think this is way over the line. Mm -hmm. Sure. Vivian, I mean, yeah. you've accused Destiny of essentializing his opponents. You've mm -hmm. been accused of having a list of enemies. Do, yeah, I know I have. have. Sorry? Do you have a list of enemies? <laughs> no, I do not have a list of enemies. Okay. In, in that case... I Sorry, okay. Fuck! Pisco doesn't know the lore here. So what happened was, a long time ago, Vivian talked about being in some Discord or something where she got accused of helping to contribute to, like, an anti-fascist list. And that list was basically trying to dox the fuck out of people that have ever been associated with, like, bad discords or whatever. Whatever they deemed at the time was, like, a bad thing. Now, anytime she's lightly pushed on this, she'll always deny it and say, of course, I never did anything. But there was a big podcast, or not podcast, uh, like, a panel episode. Yeah, fuck me! Fuck me in the ass with your spear! Fuck me! There was a big podcast episode where Doobie, Doobie and me were on it, um, and she got pushed really hard on it, and she finally broke down and, and, and admitted that, yeah, there is a big list that I contribute to where me and a bunch of other like anti-fascist people try to dox people that we perceive to be as fascist. Um, I don't have the I, I don't have the link to it offhand, and I'm not making my manifesto about Viv because she's not even worth it. She's not worth the letters in my fucking Google Docs, the data for it. But um, like she's admitted to that, but she tries to like caveat. Oh wait, is this? Hold on. Getting somewhere. Wait, so Vivian, do you think that if somebody is a fascist, their address should be posted publicly online for everybody to see? Name, address, occupation? Um, yeah, if you can reasonably prove it, it should be posted with the information of the kind of action that they've been involved in. I don't think we should, like, dox random fucking people who just posted, I, I don't know, post the N-word on Twitter or whatever, but if they're actually affiliated with any kind of, like, fascist organization or engaging in recruitment or trying to push people towards well, action, then, yeah, I mean, like, wait, we're getting... Wait, hold on, wait, actually, wait, oh god, I got, like, wait, 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 I have just, like, two or three, two or three follow-ups on this, and then I'll stop talking, I swear to god. Do you, what happens if people on that list start getting harmed? Would you still defend the existence of that list, or do you think that the list would be a bad idea? If people start getting harmed, yeah. So let's say that you you've got like again. the list of what, fascists, and then way? let's I mean, say that somebody shows. Okay, I can, I can real quick. Okay, this is okay. Okay. Somebody shows up at somebody's work that's a fascist. Because if you post the name, the address, and where they work, they show up at their work and they start like throwing eggs at their car. Do you think that you would defend the existence of the list, though? Yeah. Okay. Does that ever extend to a point where people are getting harmed? So let's say somebody's tires get slashed, or let's say somebody's like windows get broken, or let's say somebody gets assaulted. Is there a line at some point where you stop defending the existence of the list? Does that ever extend to a point where people are getting harmed? So let's say somebody's tires get slashed, or let's say somebody's well, like windows get broken, or let's say somebody gets assaulted. Is there a line at some point where you stop defending the existence of the list? Happens. What to get people fucking like assaulted or killed? Yeah. Well, at, at some point, yeah. Post their address. Yeah. yeah. Why else would you post their address not. or where they work? Wait, like. Like, clearly you guys, like, have no fucking understanding of, like, the broad fucking, like, history of oh. anti-fascist Okay, wait, 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 okay, you're probably in a- I'm just- the only reason why I'm asking you to be careful about that is because you're in a call with probably- Okay, wait, 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 wait. Because doctors- because do anti-fascist doctors have been dropped for fucking, like, decades, and, like, this very, very rare- like, any kind of- So, like th by the way, this is what she's talking about, contributing to one of these anti-fascist docs lists. So she- yeah, sorry, Pisco, you didn't know this, but yes! 
yeah, she does this shit, and she admitted to it on this thing. Like, yeah, if you're a fascist or you're moving people towards fascism, you should have your whole fucking shit doxxed and put on the internet. And if people show up and start breaking your car and shit, yeah, I would defend that. Like, that's this is Vivian's position on this. I'm not blaming you for not knowing. But yeah, she's such a little fucking Weasley piece of shit, dishonest lying cuck to sit here on this podcast and pretend like she hasn't defended that um, before. What a fucking loser. I think that, like, Destiny doesn't essentialize his opponents. He... We'll also, by the way, I hate to say reverse the roles, but could you imagine if I had anything even remotely similar to that in my community? Even if we joked about making a list, I would literally be fucking Hitler Vanelli 2.0. Like, it would be, like, unbelievably... We'll tell you. I mean, you'll keep lying about that, even though he he was on the panel where it fucking happened, and he knows that that's not the but case. I, but I, I don't judge people. First of all, I don't know what instance that you're speaking to. But, but you know, but of, when I say I essentializing, pattern. when I say essentializing, what I mean is, right, he's not saying this person has a shit take, this person has a bad argument, this person uh, has, has, has said some silly things that I disagree with. He's saying this person is a pedophile. This person is a terrorist. Right. Person is a fascist. What do I call a terrorist? This person is a uh, rumor. This person is a rapist. Who have I? Who have I? Called? Yeah, those things. As we, well. we call. I mean, right. part of the these, human experience is putting labels on on people, and we like to pretend that we're all these right. like. When those uh, labels, labels are, uh, and when those labels are one, uh, uh, untrue, right? Uh, and two, when they uh, when they cross over from uh, from like disagreements into saying that this person is a bad person, that's when the toxicity gets. Uh, uh, like ramps up the fucking knowledge. my experience well, in watching I'm destiny that is is that he my experience in watching destiny is that um he does not rest on his laurels when he's hearing an argument i mean you can hear him talking about i don't know richard spencer versus Jesus. x figure or um I, I don't know some argument where he has the complete opposite take of the person he's compliments and that's actually a pretty good argument i, I don't get the sense that this is a person who <laughs> okay. writes people off um, in terms of the substantive arguments, he will write them off, I think, interpersonally, and he will do the things. I think you're said. misunderstanding me, Pisco. Okay. Um, dumb oh, fuck, Pisco. I, yeah. Um, Did so you call out Puzzles like... when she falsely accused Destiny of rape and then, like, kind of semi walked it back? Or Maddie Cakes when she called him a groomer? She didn't semi walked it back. She said, Oh, I was wrong. This is actually what happened. I don't think that and was And then still mischaracterized walk. what happened. Yep. What about Maddie oh, Cakes calling him a groomer? What happened? what happened is he called people fucking uh, uh, mentally. Was it him? No. Nope. Nope. You people have no idea. Wait, where the fuck am I One fucking ruined? I mean, that's not really. Well, is this really fair, though? Like, if we but, have like, uh, a problem with a specific person, right? Like, does that mean like, that we I have mean, to actually story. notice every single other instance of someone acting out and make sure that we call it out? Okay, well, right? I mean, or do we don't need them anyway. on the people we interact with? It sounds like the bar. Yeah, I mean, this is still mega person. fucking whataboutism for starters, I, right? Well, I like, think the point that Erudite's trying to make is that if we were to apply this mm-hmm. standard, we'd be taking out a lot of people, and that could be a, a reason as to why this standard shouldn't be. Correct. That's Wait, the point. what standard are we talking about here? The standard where in Meanness. the debate space where like yeah where, where where people are you know tempers are flying and on Twitter where every I, it's hard for me to find like a genuinely nice person on Twitter who isn't snarky at least some of the time on Twitter. Uh, I don't care about people being fucking nice, dude. I did, all I was all I was saying right, and I'll attempt to clarify because like every where time have I, I seen this clarify, boss before? Somebody seems to oh I know now in that cave, question, right? But like um. What I was saying is that, like, the, the, the toxicity that exists, right, it ramps up when you essentialize your opponent, okay? Now, that can be justified in some cases, right? Or it can be uh, unjustified. In the case of, like, what happened to me, I happen to know that Destiny did it simply because he considers me to be an enemy, not because he thinks that my arguments make me a bad person. Wait, what is she talking right? about? But just simply... What did I do to her because she's an enemy? And I think that you can see this happen on... Oh, a, yeah, meanwhile, a, a, he's... Uh, I think you can see this happen on a number of occasions, such as the Bob posting one, for example, where he's like, okay, now this is fine for me to, like, direct that level of harassment towards somebody uh, through essentializing them as a pedophile rather than somebody who's, like, arguing for the welfare of children. But That's not what she did! That I don't agree with, right? Does anybody have a link to her tweet? I'm curious. Like, it wasn't just, it wasn't just, like, I defend puberty blockers for kids. That's not what she did. That's not why I said she was a fucking pedophile. Where is the fucking tweet? Give me the tweet. Give me the goddamn tweet.
I like it when she talks about me. It's like the most extremely uncharitable thing ever. But when it's about her friends, it's like, oops. <laughs> Wake up, Blinkers. Also, I got like 500 plus minors on HRT, not seven. Get it right, Steven. That's a weird fucking statement. Now, like, should I call her pedophile? Yeah, probably not. Um, should she have said that I rate my wife on stream? Probably not. Um, but like, it's not just that she's advocating for, for minors to get HRT. This is a really weird fucking statement. Sorry, but... Oh, Trace, did, yeah. Did yeah, you I, say, I, you've been, had your hand up for a while. Did you want to speak to that? Yeah, I, I, I just want to, it's, it's sort of a side <laughs> conversation, but I just want to directly respond to the thing that Section said. It's real short. Um, Section, I, I, you, I, I think that you're just fundamentally incorrect that we could avoid blood sports and get a better world. I think blood sports is way bigger than Destiny, as Erudite points out. Any platform that attempts to eliminate blood sports, I think it has two options. A, you fail to remove blood sports because it's too ingrained and you've only weakened left, or two, you succeed somehow on removing this and the platform becomes irrelevant because people will leave and they will go to the blood. I think there's something to that, actually. Like, on some level, there is, like, a need for blood sport. Like, you can't just be nice and kind all of the time and try to, like, you, you shouldn't know, be either. No, right. if you think, think somebody's a bad person, you should probably, like, make sure that you call that out. My understanding is, Viv, is that Destiny thinks you're a bad person. Is it, it, that's my understanding of your guys' conflict. Well, Same with... Yeah, I think this is mostly just a response to Hassan is a bad person. But it's like he both of them, gosh, right? Exactly. He, doesn't, he doesn't think I'm essentially a bad person. I do. I do. This, I, mean, I, uh, I do. In his, conversa in his conversation... She's with disgusting. His channel, um, ...and to me in DMs, um, he, he, he views me as, like... Somebody who is like uh, has like hurt him personally. No, right? the, the fascist list was kind of weird, Viv. Personally. So he's uh, so he's fine with um, fine with like trying to paint me as an evil person. Um, I mean, which you know is another good example. Some, I mean, to some degree though, like doesn't it make sense that like so like if Destiny has a bad perception of uh, Viv and Viv has a bad uh, interpretation of like Destiny, then doesn't it just mean that it's like totally fine for them to have like a big problem with each other and like call each other out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera? And like I don't even know if we're going to find the right of this at the end of the day. Like I think there's a lot of things that we just can't possibly know. All right, we can do is like stop, look at his. Just stop lying, like, dude. Just stop fucking <laughs> lying. I mean, that would be a good start, wouldn't it? So, so I think, like, I, think we we do. I mean, if we're honest. talking about lying and bad faith, like that happens all the time, and so like we should be really careful. And like I said, you need to substantiate claims that Destiny is lying. So oh, I want to. Well, okay, 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 okay. I just want to say. Just say hold on. I just want. I want to butt in. I, I think we have all agreed already that there's no way we can prove or disprove uh, the intentions. Of destiny in this no, it was, case. Oh, wait, I, uh, but, but, but I, I so want to take you through that. You just shouldn't make so the, basis you accusations. You can speculate. I can never, you know, you're absolutely right, it's Aaron. Not, I can never accuse anybody ever of lying. That's no, no, not no, at that's, all what no, I said. No, no, that's no, not no, at all. I've saying. even said, go How ahead and be mean. I've said precisely, do don't make baseless accusations and be a liar. That's shit. How do I know? How do I know? Viv, Viv, it's the same way you prove intent in Okay, hold on. It's the same way you prove intent. One second, let Viv respond real quick. So Viv is saying, this is an impossible task. You're asking me to prove something that's impossible to prove because I can't read his mind. But the answer is, and what's obvious to anyone who understands how to prove intent, it's always with circumstantial evidence. It's always with your actions that manifest. Yeah, exactly. And I think circumstantial evidence counts up. And I think the balance of the evidence is way on the other side. It's way on the other side of him being right, willing to, fucking idiot, to take to take great personal risk and damage to his, himself for the sake of I mean, belief that sorry, he just, what, he just damage, what, that, what personal damage was he going to fucking suffer from saying those things about his me? His income, his relationships with people who who take issue with his uh, like, in terms of you his know, money and have his you not seen what happens to Viv on like every single panel show? <laughs> like she's literally dogpiled on every single panel show, and then people start like dumping subs and bits like all the time. So like it's not like the that craziest thing true. to do Viv to bring Viv onto your panel Even show, for Viv, a lot of people like, see how oh, she fuck is. you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right? If like, you have bad ideas, you get dumped on. That's what I'm fucking happens. I mean, and that's fine. Right. You, 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 you can be dumped. You can be dumped on. You can be dumped on for having bad ideas. However, what happens to Viv is that she is strong man regularly. She's not a strong man. man. Really She's man. actually really fucking insane. Okay. Dude, you don't need a strong man. I'm not really talking really about you out, Erudite. Really, really I think you're doing fine. I'm talking about okay. general panels. Really, what overall, I'm saying, is attack. Okay, okay, what, I am saying what I am saying is something like, okay, Kfels, I'm going to say, 
Kafels accused him of being a stealther. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, he stealths people, which is legitimately a form of rape. <laughs> Insane. Insane shit. All right. And I have evidence for this. If I'm going to sure. make that yeah. claim, I'm going to do my best to have evidence and not just make false fucking accusations about somebody because it's really fucking serious when you make these okay. accusations because they mean a lot. Yeah, That's I the agree. issue with all of this destiny about, shit. Every person I've argued them. with who hates him, they talk about all these things that he's done. And I say, just substantiate it. Just give me one evidence, an evidence of him coordinating a brigade, Wonder. anything like that. And I never get fucking anything. And it's so frustrating. Oh, like if he's, if he's so bad and you've had 13 years you think some evidence would fucking emerge There's about this shit well of, i mean we gave you several examples several you <laughs> like two weak ones and then i looked into them personally ears. and most you of them were straw mans you of you what he said and completely out of context you were like, gonna close the, your ears my point going, wasn't to i don't believe this. my point wasn't so to get into this and that you never said it okay erudite it's perfectly I, I don't know why you're on this fucking panel if you're not going to actually <laughs> listen to anything anybody else says Wait, we're all listening to you really quick really quick we're all listening to you damn no, so sigma so misogyny so hell yeah been waiting for a while go ahead section Chase. So, so not There's so erudite, you talked before deal. about how when I okay. became more passionate, I became more convincing very briefly. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I'm very actively fighting the urge. Vivian adding erudite to the list. Me. True. Like I, I have like years of being an insane level, Giga like chat. vegan blah, blah, blah debate bro, where I'm like challenging people in the most obnoxious ways I possibly can. Hold on. A lot of you detractors say you're responsible for you getting and harassment. Right do you think there's anything maybe? you could do to defend against these claims? It's hard to prove a negative, but like, one thing that like people just don't people fundamentally either don't understand uh, no that's a charitable take i think people do understand they understand something that you guys don't understand and they use that against you anytime you fight with a big internet personality on twitter you're going to get tweets of people saying really mean things to you that will always happen it doesn't take a brigade that's just the reality of fan bases on the internet and anti-fan bases there's a lot of people that follow my tweets that fucking hate me i got a lot of gripers that follow me i've got people from kiwi farms that follow me like these people exist so if you have good one dude um if that is the case then anytime i fight with anybody ever i'm gonna like people are gonna say like oh look like you're <laughs> good one getting you're like brigading or whatever but the reality is that's not what brigading is it's not what it means there is no brigading that happens for my community there might have been like one or two weird things in the past for like meme shit or whatever like twitch plays pokemon but like nobody we don't do brigades in my community because it'll get you it's the easiest and quickest way to get banned from literally fucking everything you'll lose everything if like people catch you doing that you'll get banned on every fucking platform Where I, where I use like the most vicious language I can. And the reason I don't is because of exactly what happened in this panel. Okay, both you, not so erudite, Except for Hassan, and guess, Vivian yeah. have the impression that neither of you have heard a word that you have said. I've because... never said that. I've Sorry. never fucking said that. And I've never, I was actually going right to tell Viv. Line. I was like, wow, With Viv no actually super One good faith in this. Viv, 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 what really you're saying great. makes no like, I've sense I've never whatsoever. said that so, Miss Viv is being bad faith and isn't listening to me. I've never said that. No, no, no. Area date said. Area date said. Can, 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 can I? Can I give section a chance? It sounds like he's open to hearing out her clarification. Let him. Let him restate. Yeah, he's so been sorry. waiting a long. I, I got. I got. I, I got debate broy there, and that was my bad. Oh I'm my sorry. god! Who is this person? Saying, Please stop letting them talk. <laughs> Miss Viv has the impression that you haven't heard anything that she said. He's trying to do that, like, not, ultimate, I mean, the, the, like, mediator very position clear thing. Very is saying. Erida is saying that the evidence presented is out of context, bad evidence, and it, or, or otherwise it's, like, within the range of normal activity yeah. on these platforms. I'm not that even is, debate like, broing, by the way. I'm just saying substantiate your claims. Debate broing, in my mind, is if I'm like, oh, this is straw manning me. Oh, she's just pivoting. Like, that shit, for, for sure, is fucking toxic and obnoxious, what right? Do you want me to substantiate, here, I? Sorry? Which one? So, 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 so any, all the examples you brought up, right? The, the, the examples relating to him not being forthright with the position, the, the one, I don't know if you brought up the one, but the Surf's TV example, those are all things that we've addressed individually. When, when we address them individually, you have people saying like, oh, I don't want to go into the specifics, but 
as we begin to uncover them, you know, there's always other context here. Oh, there was an instigation there. Oh, there was a, you know, pre-existing bad relationship. I mean, and it's, a, it, it's different in a key way, right? So the claim is different not, in a key way than, than, than as you present, right? He, he's not the making direction. this precise accusation. The there is literally nothing that makes the behavior wanna, in this I situation. I wanted to say. Like, and but I don't think basically like, what's being said is that to, the totality of evidence that you're presenting is is not it's enough what? to make your case that this is some heinous person who deserves to be de depersoned. You know, that, it, that's it, essentially what's being said. It, at no point, at no point did I say deperson. Okay, what, whatever, banned off Twitch and and and. All right. I was actually really interested in hearing Erudite and Viv like work this out though. Like, I actually would like to get like the clarification and like try to like you know figure out if there's a bridge that can be built. So like, if nice. we could just do that real Hard quick to and just see what happens. Sure. Nice. Can I offer an olive branch? Sure. I genuinely think that Miss Viv has been pretty decently good faith with the ideas presented here. I have concerns about accusations being made about destiny with no evidence, but that to me isn't bad faith, right? That's just bad research. So as far as faith, I think Miss Viv has been incredibly good faith in this debate, actually. I just have concerns about the lack of evidence for things. Why so I, I, I know that might not be the twice. best bridge, but like, just to be clear, Viv, I don't think that you're being a bad faith actor with me. I just want you to provide the evidence, and I'm tired of baseless accusations. For what, Eridai? Give for it, him pick, lying. Pick, pick, a, a malicious pick, lie. A malicious that, lie, yeah. Yeah. Malicious Why can't, she could at least use the demon out. mama let's example. Let's, it's your best one. It's like the only one you've got. How is she not even familiar with that? Are you the moderator, Mad Lad? Are you the moderator, Mad Lad? They're actually working it out. And then you keep cutting in and underlining. Getting unhinged. So you're going to impose restrictions on me, Mad Lad? Hey, as the moderator, I can I can actually speak to this contention. Uh, we all we all are on a panel. Welcome to butt in. It doesn't necessarily have to be a two person conversation. It, it's okay if if I, I understand the interest in having the more focus on two people, Mad Lad. I have tried to make space for certain two person contentions, and respectfully, I'll, I'll make the determination as we go. Though you are welcome to weigh in if that's what and voice your desire. There's only really quick, really quick, really quick, really quick, really quick, really quick. Really quick, really quick. Just say something super fast. This is actually super fast. Not okay. so I'm already I, twirling I, the I'm pipe. Calling you a debate, bro. I shouldn't have said that. I. Uh, what I meant by that term was, I think, different than what most people Ugh. meant. And I'm, not, I'm never ready for that attack. Meaning. And so I totally understand why you did, why what you took away was different from what I meant. But I also think even what I said was wrong. Um, I didn't mean that you were doing this like pivoting stuff or like, I think I think you imagine kind of somebody, I don't I don't have somebody on mind, but like somebody who's super dishonest, like uh, Doobie when he's trolling. Uh, is a good example of somebody who's doing like debate rowing, I think, in the way that you were describing it. I just meant that the way you were talking was sufficiently passionate. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. And I deserve to be dead. I guess it there's only one type of view. In such a way that she okay. couldn't properly hear you. But even that, I think, is <laughs> unreasonable. Out, uh, Stop. I think Viv heard me just fine. Like, to be honest, I, I've had no issue with feeling that Viv is mischaracterizing what I'm saying. Like, this is something I, I genuinely think is going well here. It's Viv, even though I would say it's clear that Viv doesn't like me at all, which is super fair, because we have very opposing positions. She's not used that, like, dislike of me to contradict me on points that are consistent with what her worldview is. And she always Well, she did call you a simp position, earlier. And it's always dogpiled and does her best to still engage in all these spaces, which I can actually genuinely value, even if I disagree disagree with parts of her worldview. So I, I wouldn't even make the accusation just stop for a moment and let that them she's talk. not listening to me. I, I actually feel like she's listening to me. We just have a fundamental disagreement on something. That, sorry, that, I wanted to be clear that I was rescinding the statement. So I, I was okay. wrong to say that. It's fine. Okay. So that being said, it, it seems right. like Erudite and Vivian and potentially Pisco had... Did we want to get back to what we were trying to flesh out? Or sure, did I want to hear Viv. There's only <laughs> one me. type of meal. Um, okay. I, Okay, so your accusation. Is, oh, what was it? You said you want you want uh, uh, some kind of evidence um, that he's lying. I think you and I um, have a different understanding uh, of of what I mean when I'm fucking uh, scoffing at Pisco for saying that he's uh, say that Destiny is honest, right? And I thought we sort sorted this out in the fucking beginning, but obviously not. Um, <clears throat> Well, it seems to, it seems like there's a real. St I mean, I don't know how we got back into it, but it seems like I, I, if I'm, I, we can't seem to get away from it. It seems to, it seems to me that we keep coming back to like the 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 contention that he is lying or committing so, yeah, some. I don't I don't fear him as an honest actor. I think that he would uh, he he would take positions, and the strength of his positions will depend on his relationship with the individual. Uh, I think that he's perfectly happy, uh, for example, keeping up. 
uh, keep him up information that he's been uh, he's been informed is false and he knows is false. Like what? Uh, and and not apologizing for it, not recognizing. Nah, why the that fuck would false. I apologize uh, to any I of these fucking losers? Are you fucking serious? Of these. What? Uh, uh, like, like the Keffels shares. He apologized for that yet? I would uh, never. And she said the same the, of me. She said she won't apologize. For, uh, taking taking the word of a fucking ex kill stream host, uh, and then what's using the statement, it. What's, what's the statement Destiny made that you say that he where he where he said that? Uh, he helped spread the uh, the lie by flamenco that uh, Keffels. Well, I say lie. Um, Let's let's be as careful with my words as possible here, right? Because I know Erudite's going to be uh, picking on everyone. Uh, the unsubstantiated oh, no, accusation. Hold on, is this a? I wonder if I saved this one. I didn't really want to make much of this manifesto about Keffel, so I don't know if I saved this clip. There was a part where Keffel's made an accusation about me, the rape accusation. Then she kind of half walked it back, then said some random shit. And then afterwards, she said, um, afterwards, she said, uh, I'm not going to apologize anything about him because he, like, why would I apologize when he, like, called, like, said women need to be raped or something? Fuck. Oh, she said that I called her a rapist. Can somebody, fuck. I don't have this because I didn't want to make this about her. Does anybody have that clip? It was this. I love that several months ago, Oh, he I said do. that if a trans woman does not disclose she's trans before having sex with someone, they are a rapist. That's not what I said. What I said is that you should probably have your genitals disclosed beforehand. That's what I said. And if you, I wish I had the clip. I don't have it. But I'm pretty sure that if you go back, I think I even said specifically, I think I literally said, um... If you're post-op, it's a different thing, and you probably don't have to disclose it. I think I said that. I might have actually said it verbatim. I don't know if anybody has a clip of that. I, and I won't say I said it, because maybe I did, but I feel like I remember saying that. Um, Do you think trans people should reveal their trans if their genitals match their identity? If things match, I don't think you have to. I mean, like, you should, but, um, I, I mean, well, should you? I don't know. That's a more complicated question. I have done this. According to him, I'm a rapist. I- No! But he'll never take that back, nor will his, like, weird fans expect him to take that back. So, why am I expected to apologize for anything? I don't care. So why the fuck would I apologize for anything? Right? At least my stuff has some foundation in reality, even if it's, like, really twisted. And I've also said, like, it's probably not true, so I don't really talk about it much. But, like... Here. Fuck, if anybody has that clip where I, where what I said specifically... Actually, that'd be really good. Linkers in chat. There's no way this person comes up to you ever? No. This person is too weak to ever talk to anybody that disagrees with him. Um... Obama. Jesus. Is the clip in a YouTube video? I don't know if it was a tweet or a video. Your tweet was, if you mislead someone relating to sexual organs and they discover it as you're engaging in sexual activities, that's tantamount to rape. That's a pretty responsible take. If I actually, if that's actually how I worded it, good job, past destiny. Because that's actually way less inflammatory than I would have expected me to word it. So, good job, destiny. I don't even actually believe I said it that way. I feel like I would have said it way more inflammatory. I would have to see the, um, I would need to see a, a screenshot of my initial tweet. I never got the tantamount to rape part. Like, wouldn't the other person just notice the unexpected generals and dip? So, I don't really want to relitigate this. But, like, basically, like, he, like, so here's, like, an example, an easy example. Let's say that you go to a lesbian bar, and you're a woman, okay? And let's say that you find somebody, you get home. Uh, let's say that you start messing around, you start making out. Let's say the other person goes down on you, then you, you get off. Then let's say you're going to take their pants off, and they have a penis. Like, at that point, I, I feel like there's a very reasonable case to say that, like, holy shit, I just got hardcore misled in this encounter. 
Now, people might say, well, that's transphobic, blah, blah, blah. But like, that's, I feel like that's like tantamount to rape, right? Like, that's like, what the fuck? Like this person for a variety of reasons might not want to have sex with somebody with a penis. And to just kind of like, oh, well, there you go. Um, I don't know about that. That, that I, I, I feel comfortable standing by. If somebody is like Ben, if you mislead someone relating to sexual organs and they discover engaging sexual activity. Yeah, this isn't even technically about trans people. It could theoretically apply to cross-dressers. Um, if you cross-dress and you're sufficiently convincing and then you go to have sex with somebody and they find out that you are you have a penis instead of a vagina when they would have expected otherwise, I, it could apply there technically. Um, I don't even engage. I'm not even going to engage with this. Um, I'm sorry. You're beyond fucking retarded. I don't, I don't believe that you believe this. Um, when people try to do this weird concern trolling shit, would you think that a guy who has a really large or micro penis, like, could they blah, blah, blah? I don't even know if you're making a real argument there or if you're just so desperately trying to cling to any fucking stupid shit you can find. Like, well, what if they lie about how much money they make? Like, there is a range of acceptable organs that people might have, or there's a range of what people typically expect when they're hooking up with somebody that, like, is relating to sexuality and everything, that for you to be like, but what if they have a big dick? Like, it's not even, it's not the same category of difference there. It's like, it's, that's not even the same category of, of what we're talking about. You went down this rabbit hole already. I think you're right about the discourse, but why wouldn't your arguments extend to people with very minimally large penises? Okay, people try to make this weird thing where no. they're like, does that mean you have to disclose every single thing? What if you've got a small dick or a huge dick? Or what if you've got a this or that? Or what if you've got, like, it's not the same thing. When you go to have sex with a guy, you assume that they have some sort of dick. It could be small, it could be large, right? You assume that you have, they have something, right? Typically, we associate, like, a gender expression with genital. Like, 99% of the time, most people do this, okay? Um, for the, um, but for them to have a totally different sex organ is something that most people right now. Okay, anyway, thanks for finding this. So, like, I never, so under anything that I was saying, I never, I didn't accuse Keffels of, like, rape. I never called her a rapist. I never would have said that what she did was rape. Like, with absolutely no fucking evidence from somebody who has clearly got a pretty fucking checkered past. Um, when did he say that? He said on stream? Sorry? How did he, he, he did spread the lie? Like, was it a retweet? Like, what specifically did he do to spread the lie? She, um, she doesn't even know. She has no fucking idea. I'm pretty idea. sure he I'm retweeted it. I can tell you. So I retweeted. I mean, come on. I mean, there are people who retweet propaganda or false stories about like i don't know some police okay, event yeah, that happens. when, you made, when and, you made aware that it's wrong right you, yeah so you, you say hey i'm as, sorry you I know he's mean, been made aware that it's wrong yeah. you know what his response is uh, that given information about it that, that I oh my god i literally had uh uh what was it um the other day i mentioned that like uh will smith was uh into into scientology right somebody else posted an article underneath uh, from a dude who's been uh, looking into the Scientology movement, uh, saying that he believes that uh, the Smiths left the Scientology movement sometime. And then I took it back immediately. 15, okay, 15, 16, uh, th th I, I understand that. You, and, I, and, I, and, and I instantly made a post, right, where I, cla where I clarified right. that there are So what was that... Destiny's reaction when he was presented with irrefutable evidence that this was false? Or that they, Viv that has no idea because she doesn't that, care. That Viv doesn't give a fuck. I'm sorry. Are you saying? Are you saying that? Dude, are you saying, are you saying that I need at to? This point, he is he is blissfully unaware of the argument. Was he presented with evidence? Do you know that? I no. Do you know what? I do not know. I do not know. I do not know that he has been physically, personally presented with the evidence. Well, no, right? no, but did you but know? It it would be impossible for him engaging in this engaging in this topic, engaging in this discourse as he has, to have not seen the clarification, one made by Keffel, who I know he's like regularly fucking checking up on, right? I don't, well, because I'm usually blocked by these people. Usually people just send me tweets, but um, been his, what's been his stance then? What what was his reaction to that? Nothing. You don't but you don't even know. Nothing, you, right? Uh, so if he had said something like if he said something like you guys shouldn't probably to it. If he had said something like, you guys shouldn't propagate this, I, I, I don't think this is good info, would that... Uh, I think, didn't I? I feel like that, I literally said this uh, over the past. I don't remember, I don't log everything, but didn't I say this, that like that. the cat boy shit is probably, like, sure. who knows, it doesn't, it's and not, it's not like a strong... then this entire accusation would go away, wouldn't it? <laughs> No. Nope. Sure. If he's retracted, if he's retracted the statement and says that, like, this isn't, uh, this isn't accurate, then... How sure, sure. are you that he didn't? Uh, no idea. I'm not... I don't know anything. And we don't even Just, know if he retweeted. Like, we don't even know. So, like, this is the issue. Is like, this whole claim feels like he some shaky evidence. You don't even know if I, I, I remember, said it. I, you know, sometimes I'm at work most of the day. And, yeah. it, has he retracted it then? So, 
I, I, was, I was gonna tell you. We don't even know if he's retweeted it. We, like, yeah. I'm not familiar gonna, with the tweet. You're looking for a retraction of a statement you don't even know Did I made. Did he respond? Did he quote tweet it and say like, yeah, I, yeah, Capitals is stealing money. So, so this is what I recall. This is what I recall, Vivian. And, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but this is what I recall. I So I will like be working on my computer at work and on the background, like a degenerate sometimes, I'll, I'll have his stream on it. Cause like, I don't know, it, it gets me into the work mood sometimes. And I believe that I heard him say something like, it could be this incident, it could be another one, but something to the effect of, guys, this isn't, I don't think this is, there's anything to this. Yeah, I think I did say screen, that! Right? And if that, if I'm correct about that, and I might be incorrect about that, but if, maybe, but if he said something about that, that's a complete vindication on this point, isn't it? He's saying, it's, it's tantamount to an admission that what he retweeted, if he retweeted it, wasn't true and, and it shouldn't be looked into further. And that's exactly what you would expect. From someone who yeah, is presented with evidence, and that is why I would expect you. Yeah. Okay, and so I'm fairly confident that happened. But you're fairly confident that happened. Viv, you don't even know if I retweeted it in the first place, and now you're produce a clip at some point. Um, what will, what will be your reaction if that clip's produced? Will you retract the statement that he is dogheaded and that he never, um, you know, faced with the inevitable? Well, no, evidence because that would be one. No, because that that's be just one, one instance. Example, and, uh, many but like i would i would happily retract that he's he's not um that he that on this particular occasion he hasn't done that okay yeah um i haven't seen it and i keep seeing destiny orbiters fucking repeating the lie so why is this not person with the yikes shit kevils is involved in the whole stop bringing up personal about yourself retention is overplayed and boring um i because i don't know how much that cat boy ranch shit is like they're even that involved in it i think that was a stretch from the kiwi farms community um, I don't think that was like a huge, like the huge own that people think it is. Yeah, See me where? I think I said this on the very so first day her Kiwi Farms thread that popped up. Do. And then I don't think I said anything or, or else. Like, you're in the position I, think, I think you, I think you probably can to a certain extent. Yeah. I mean, people are their own agents, but like there's also so instigators there, and leaders, right? There's like a uh, agency relationship that you're going to impose on anyone who's <sighs> that rock ever been attack in so or at least his, his most loyal supporters that. Their I mean, if you're going to sit here, if you're going to sit, if you're going to sit here, fucking right, noise. and you're going to argue that he's so great for the left because he's helped to de-radicalize and move people away from terrible positions, then, and you're going to say that he's responsible I'm for that, so great. Right? And he deserves credit for their actions now, then yeah. the reverse is also fucking true. What do you say about Bernie Sanders? Sorry? Like Bernie Sanders is someone who many people think has been a positive mm -hmm. influence in, you know, populist left and who has actualized and um, it, it put into like an actual package many of the loose ideas of left-wing wow. following Occupy Wall Street and all that stuff into something, uh, an actual thing, an actual movement. But his supporters do cringe things all the time. The question is like on balance, on the whole, in large substance, is right, this so person you... overall good? And pointing to individual instances of, of negative, like that's fine. And you could be like, that was wrong. So you're lacking a that. relationship. And you know this, Pisco, because I know you're not this shit of a fucking debater, right? No, what, so, what do you mean? So, so, okay, so if you say, oh, Bernie Sanders has advocated for some great positions and his followers do crappy things, you're oh, no. not, you're not, you're not uh, showing me any kind of causal relationship. If I say that Destiny has said a thing and his followers have repeated it, right, there's a causal relationship there, right? You can understand how the influence has happened, right? If you say to me, Bernie Sanders' followers do, do awful things because Bernie Sanders has done something. The causality doesn't apply. That. So, so when, we, when we're thinking about bad to motives, it encourages. So, so right? when we're talking about how our actions reverberate throughout the world, there, if you're just looking at pure causality, that will get oh. you to the, you know, the birds are responsible for murders, right? The, oh, it's a butterfly oh, effect on you know what I'm saying. This no, 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 no. What, what, what I'm trying to tell you is when you're trying to ascribe culpable conduct, it's not enough to show a factual causative pathway. You have to show a a bad motive, a bad intent. Can I walk you back because you're being a fucking idiot right now? Oh. Okay. What, what am I saying that was being an idiot? Pisco, Pisco, Pisco. So, dumbass, I, I fucking said, idiot. Right? Like, I, I haven't seen any indication that Destiny's walked it back, and his followers keep repeating it. Right? Do they? Like, I, that to me seems perfectly reasonable to say that, like, well, if he had walked it back and his followers were aware of it, then I would probably What if he admonished it. them to not to repeat it? What if he admonished them specifically not to repeat it and not to go down that path? Oh, shit, I think what I else did say that. I, that, would be, that would be fine, Pisco. That would be a really good thing, that, and he should have done that by now. Yeah. 
Like, what if he has? Right? And what if you you're looking right now? What you're going to be shown a clip. Pisco, Pisco. I, we've I've already answered these fucking questions. I'm literally just saying, right? That like, if I'm to assess whether or not I think that this action has taken place, I'd have to one see evidence of it happening, which if you can provide, perfectly fucking reasonable and fine, and I'll be like, yeah, it's happened, right? But two, another indicator that seems to suggest to me that it hasn't happened, right? Uh, on on uh, is is those followers keep repeating it, right? Well, that would, would be that, evidence, that, right? So that that's be evidence thing. that he, you know, there, there are certain supporters that you cannot control 100%. That, that is true of Bernie Sanders as it is with, with Destiny. The whole point of me saying the butterfly effect was to show you <sighs> that in order to say that someone is culpable, it's not enough to show that they're causally responsible for bad things. You saying, you know? I, it's not about him being I, 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 hate, I hate to interrupt, guys, but I, I got to step in here and say that we've, we're we hitting the two-hour mark, uh, which was the intended time for this to wrap up, and I can sense we're we're starting to circle the, uh, the drain here. Uh, can I actually on a couple things? Can I actually like add to this uh, discussion real quick, and then I just had like one question. Sure, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give us like a, about a five minute warning, and then we're gonna go to closing statements. So like uh, uh, the list meme is a lie, and he has never retracted that, and he knows it. You viv, you literally no, admitted it on that, fucking like, that stream. Like, we all listen to you, you fucking right? loser. Like, so like, let's say you uh, offer misinformation, and then you you know admit to having done so, like. In stream and people have to like you know find the timestamp etc cetera, etc. Cetera. That's very different from doing it in a tweet and putting it in a place where people can easily find it, right? Mm -hmm. And like I think my point regarding Destiny isn't that oh Destiny is like you know this person that should be removed from the space forever. My point is that Destiny, if you demonstrates remorse and like you know How many corrects behavior patterns what? that I think, um, and it's not just me thinking it, but a lot of people find it problematic. I think would be a step in the right direction. We all agree that Destiny's done some things that are fucking shit. I, like everybody agrees on that. At least. I feel like some people are just. I feel well, like some people are just like. Well, but my know, point, maybe, but like he does so many great things. We can right, and, and, and like the thing is, like I don't want to ignore it. I want to say, like, if Destiny actually wants to have my respect, and I don't know if my respect means anything to him, or it whatever, doesn't. But like, I think if uh, for me to respect him, I would want to see him remorseful for shitty behavior, and then demonstrating that remorse by like apologizing and changing. Not just saying, oh, sorry, I did this, and then doing the exact same thing from week to week to week. That's really shitty. And that's sort of like the pattern that like week sort of to exists week where he'll to like, week. be like, yeah, oh, dude. I did this thing. So, uh, I don't even know if he even says sorry. He'll just acknowledge it and then move on. <laughs> and that sucks. That's my point. Mad Lad, do you think that there's, it feels like there's sort of two levels here. So where we can all agree, Destiny two has done walls. this bad thing, we should call that out, we should encourage that. But you seem to be going a step further where you're saying, you know, we should potentially hold sort of remorse or changing on that behavior. We should hold, uh, we should make uh, sort of platforming contingent on that change. My question would be to you. Why do I keep sorry, attacking you, twice? Because I'm a dumb you, fuck. You no, like, you so, that uh, I'm a dumb yeah, fuck. So like for I'm a dumb platforming, I wouldn't say like platforming is like hinges on whether you're remorseful and change your behavior pattern. I'm just saying for my personal respect, like what Twitch does is going to be completely out of any of our hands, right? Like Twitch is probably going to bring them back in like three weeks and then we'll be like, oh, okay, back to business as usual. Okay. Like, that's what I'm into. Like a, just this like obsession a of about of Destiny, big evil man, bad guy is like, there's so many people that are just as shitty, if not worse. And I would have the same the expect. Yeah, and I would have the same yeah, expectation like, of anybody like, who's not. Nobody on this panel behaviors. is talking about the fact that like Kegel's still always accused of Destiny of being. Uh, or stealther oh, on, walked it back, it, but didn't say, and then, then mischaracterized the statement. I actually pulled up the tweet to make sure that I was not mischaracterizing Kafels myself. But nobody's talking about this. Nobody on the left is being like, "Hey, Kafels, that was really shitty, and you should apologize for this." We're just being like, "Oh, he might have retweeted this thing. He should probably apologize for that." And it's like, what the fuck? Hey, Why is there such an uneven ruler? Right, 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 herself. What do you fucking? What do you actually well, want? What well, Madlad wants, what, what, what Mad Lad wants not, is not, yeah, not, not just what Mad Lad wants. Like fucking Eridite has said this several times throughout the fucking panel. What now. Mad Lad wants is not right? just it's gross rhetoric that he was espousing, right? And then and and then when she was informed that like it was it was fuck, it, I just need an R one. He hadn't actually done the thing that he was. She excusing. said she didn't know if he did it, but she said he argued that it's not a form of rape and that you shouldn't have sex with a woman who isn't mature enough, which isn't even what he argued. At all, yeah, so she not. walked it back halfway, and then made two other straw mans and false accusations. Like, Erudite, if what you say is true, I don't have any. Like, I don't see what yeah, you're looking at. But if what you say is true, like that's a very relevant thing that we can talk about. And like, I would say like Kefels is like blatantly in the wrong here, and should feel remorse and actually <laughs> express. Wait, like, but man, what you're asking for is not just what? um action that will 
alleviate what that, what that is. You're asking for a sort of politics of sentiment where you, you want someone to actually feel it and you want them to, to tell people that they're sorry and that they really feel it. You're well, asking not just, not just like tell people that they're sorry. Me, but, you're yeah. asking to be duped. You're asking to be lied to because um, you don't you can't yeah, see okay. no what okay I'm, I'm sorry heart. no 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 okay no like, that's ridiculous like the thing is like, if someone mean? is no because like if someone is remorse, remorseful and then acting hope. out the change demonstrating an improvement even if they're lying to you like fake it till you make it you know like it's fine who gives a shit like they're actually taking steps to like Build we a worried about concrete like action. why the yeah, we, we, yes, we, we, concrete we action definitely exactly want, why is not Kevin's making people a to feel bad like i i, I, would be, I just want this yeah. ruler applied i don't actually want sure. this to do I don't, anything i'll I don't happily fuck. sell kefels down the river i, mean, I don't give a fuck frankly <laughs> like <laughs> Absolutely. And Anybody who's anything this? shitty should but be like, ever interacting with him. And no, but Amanda, what you're not saying is, his street, Amanda, so bad. Bad. his ideas so. What poor. you're saying is, like, you it's not enough for him to right. rescind the statement. It's not enough for him to acknowledge yeah. that he propagated it. He needs to feel it, and I need to find a way to make sure he. I'm saying, I'm saying he has to feel it. I need, he needs to like demonstrate a change of behavior. That's it. Why, like, is, why is everybody on the destiny side so bad faith in this conversation? I don't want to hear about what I said was bad. Pretty clear. It's pretty clear. The so one bad lad is saying, right, is that like the behavior needs to change, and you can't keep, you can't just don't care if they feel it, bad thing, and then and then change uh, and then keep doing the fucking bad thing. It's really obvious that that's what he's saying. Fake and he's arguing that oh, he has to feel it. Oh, it has to be. So that it's action, so that that thing. action. First of all, so so the, what you're describing, where uh, you someone who doesn't care about apologies, that, that's something that Des that's Destiny's position. Destiny says, I don't care about apology. I care about change behavior. We'll and cool. I and he think, doesn't do that. So, I think yeah. that, you know, one way in which, so people retweet things, people like things that are untrue. That's just the cost of doing business in Twitter in an era and an age in which information is available at the snap of a finger. And you're, you're never going to stop totally people like liking or retweeting things that later turn out to be misinformation the behavior that you want so to we shouldn't even try like no, what do you mean you should, you should take best best efforts and if you if you actually follow him oftentimes he's the one who's calling out other people saying you just retweeted something you didn't even read the article or you just okay. retweeted something you didn't you didn't even know it. so he's yeah, being very he's much like, he accused people of that i am not know. holding <laughs> destiny to any different standard than i would hold to anyone else like all you destiny needs though. to do but like right now the destiny panel is centered on, on destiny that. so that's what i'm talking about but like if you want to talk about Keffels or any other person who's done any other shitty thing on the internet, I would be very happy to be very consistent well, what in what they what should do. But and then the point you? is, and like here, here's my point. My point is, like the fake it till you make it thing doesn't mean that like it's just as good, right? Like if someone doesn't actually feel the apology, I'm sorry. Let me finish. I'm not saying that like the faked like remorse is better than the sincere remorse. I'm just saying that if someone demonstrates a certain behavior pattern consistently and improves consistently, so then how do you even fucking tell the difference between feeling the apology and just doing the right thing consistently? That's all I want. That's the whole point where, where, like, if you're just looking for sentiment, that's often a way to be misled. No, it's not sentiment. I want someone to change I their mean, behavior shit, pattern. Guy, why do you keep saying this? This is why I don't I give a fuck about their sentiment just, at all. And you agree with me? Then you would agree that the remedial action of of admitting that you that this is not good info and not to spread it or around, five seconds on a Twitch stream is not enough. So I guess because what is, enough? Mad what is enough? Mike so we can fight. What, like, what would okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what's enough. Can uh, I and I'm a little bit. If yeah. I'm understanding you correctly, so it, you're not caring about the sentiment or anything. My concern, I guess, that I would say to that is, it seems that part of the sentiment is that destiny is uniquely bad, and it just doesn't seem to be the case. This doesn't really seem to be. We're talking about that. destiny right now. There are little There's fucking. A there are literal why he's uniquely bad and bad enough to get banned. That's the there issue. are other people who are also bad enough to get banned. Okay? Yeah, but they're not like, getting banned. I, 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 I don't... What will satisfy yeah, you, Mad Lad? Not what will banned, but we're not talking about them. If you want to have a conversation about whether or not you think Keffels should be banned from the fucking platform, Look, then I don't know. Host a panel that's entitled "What I, Do You Think About Keffels?" So, so I, I actually, I, I think that this is, I think that we have circled the Keffels subject a little bit. Obviously, it's relevant. Uh, it's probably something we could have our own panel about. But well, I, I, I have think a that in the abstract. Question. Uh, well, you know, well, we're about to go to the punchline phase of the panel, actually. Uh, but but I, I think that we have agreed on a lot of abstract analysis. Hold here. on. I need to get a protein shake. I can drink that. One sec.
Oh, 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 Obama! We've agreed about and a lot of what positions we would walk back if certain evidence was to be discovered. We've agreed a lot about certain condemnations we would and would not give out if we were able to bring certain things to the light of the day. There's been some evidence submitted in voice chat, some evidence that has been uh, contended here in voice chat. We obviously are not going to be able to give a like full broad spectrum analysis of every aspect of the Twitch lore here. So I think uh, the fact that we've sort of circled a few ab conclusions in the abstract while quibbling over the details is a pretty good sign that, uh, especially given that we're running a little over time, uh, and I like to stick to my commitments. Uh, I'm going to send it to closing statements. I am going to stick around a little bit afterwards so we can continue to discuss this if we'd like. And I know Lycan had an interest earlier in getting in on this conversation if he's still around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, have never met, I have never met a dude who is so fucking covered in well, Destiny. Hey, we'll be, a, we'll be able to Garden. talk about it. We'll be able to talk about it all we want after the panel. But I'm and speaking of which, I'm actually going to give the closing statements in the reverse order that they did before, or at least to the best of my ability. Hope I don't mess it up, but I believe we're still mostly in the same order. Uh, Vivian, would you like to uh, go ahead and give it a go? Feel free to shout yourself out as well. Uh, Mix Vivian Wolf, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, I f what, wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Closing statement. Closing statements. Uh, yep. Closing statement. Uh, Destiny continues to lie about the list. That's the last thing that you fucking said to me was a lie about the list. So that'll do, honestly. And you can go and look at that fucking panel and see whether or not you think that I personally have some kind of fucking docs list. Bro! Um, like, we literally because, all well, heard it! Was, uh, that was never substantiated on the platform, uh, on that She admitted it to fucking Doobie! Uh, and it's certainly not something that I do anymore. I either. Anymore? I that I do anymore? Okay, so you did at one point in time? Yeah. Was that a misspeak or was that a Freudian slip? So next up is going to be Come on. section. Okay, thank you. Um, firstly, I want to say again, uh, I really appreciate everybody who decided to come, and I really appreciate Professor Meat in particular for deciding to run this panel. Um, I think the takeaway from the position that I want to say e -U -R -I -D -I -T -E is that... Oh, those are uridites. When, Don't when, answer, when we ask questions... Oh my god. And, uh, I'm, I'm using a statement that somebody earlier made, but I don't want to co-opt that statement, so I'm remaking it now. Um, I think when we ask questions like, why is Destiny so persecuted, which he is, and why is he like so antagonized? Didn't say Simon says. Um, I think the, the thing that's worth asking is actually to try and describe that, like literally do it, approach it with like a literal descriptive Obama. lens rather than a normative lens. Like why in the sense of, you know, why is this good? Instead ask why people do that. And I think when we look through Destiny's history of of extreme controversy and extreme extreme, of extreme people, controversy extreme antagonism this extreme he quote tweets his political views in particular and we can instead describe it by saying things like destiny is in exceedingly inflammatory inflammatory in a way that fractures people along political lines in a way that has developed a community that i think mainly relies on blood sports i think that destiny has reproduced the system of his own content and the system of Twitch broadly, and where I don't think that like the idea of debating is new or that blood sports is new, I think it's actually a feature of our psychology. I do think that the prevalence of it can be in part attributed to the person who originated the space. I think Destiny can be attributed as the person who did originate this Twitch space. And I think that when we seek to describe the ban, and when we seek to talk about when we should ban people in the future, I think we really need to aim towards talking about the fact <sighs> that Destiny is brutally inflammatory and that that's terrible. <sighs> and that's what I have to say. Okay. Can Next up is going to be Mad Lad. Or not Mad Lad, sorry, Pisco. Thank you. Thank you for... Oh, wait, did I say your name right, by the way? I know that... Uh, yeah, uh, I, mean, I don't really care. I, I actually okay. kind of like... Like, there's a, a funny thing that people will say. Piss Corporation, and that always makes me always makes me laugh. Use uh, the horse for this fight. So Is it really you better? Can say Bisco, you can say Bisco. Uh, no sweat off my back. Um, on the question of Des on Destiny, question. Listen, the dude has some really stupid takes that I disagree with, um, and then behaves in ways that I think are deplorable at times. Uh, oh, maybe this is. I only actually. go on to Destiny's stream when I disagree with him, and you can always see me like it w if and when I'm in his chat. I'm like pinging him and being like that you're an idiot and stuff like that so like this is not a situation in which i'm just infatuated by somebody um in this like simp way he's young like, guys I, I don't he's not this like figure in my life that's gonna make or break my career or anything I like am that that figure but in his I life i do think he's overall a net positive force in in this space such as it is you have 
people who are totally uncritical and without substance, who are leading the pack and who are representing this space and giving dog shit opinions or misinforming individuals and not even caring to have dialogues with other people or to, you know, or, or to fact check themselves or to be careful about how they're going to, uh, going about making claims. Um, and, and I think that the way that Destiny does this in the space is, is pretty unique. Um, there are times where I think that he goes way too aggressive at people interpersonally. But oftentimes, I'm just going to say, like the example cited, there will be an instigation or there will be an exaggeration and the claim isn't quite what the detractors are making it out to be. It never seems to um, be. Hmm. And sometimes it's just within the range of expected normal behavior on the platform, whether that's being slow to adopt a position on Twitch or whether that's retweeting something without thinking on Twitter. Um, and I think Not So Erida is absolutely legitimate for bringing up the double standard, not to say that therefore it's justified, but to show you that if we were to apply this standard as flow trace- Wait, standard, Irish with some sun, did you change your Twitter name? And this or am I crazy? test to determine who's fit for banning on these platforms. Um, I think he's, we didn't get into it, but I think he's a, a worthwhile moderating influence on a, an extreme left on this platform. And he gives, you know, his policy solutions such as they are, are largely attainable as opposed to defund the police or, you know, they're in the realm of conceivable thought um, okay. in terms of our like modern day political discourse. And so for all those reasons and others, I see I this profile picture popping up on my mentions that I thought I'm was sorry to see him go. her, but it had a different name. I was curious. Okay. Next up, not so erudite. Sure. <laughs> um, what I say, destiny is unquestionably inflammatory. Um, that he's mean and that he could be incredibly ruthless in debate. I would say, yeah, of course. Is he more so than the average person? <laughs> yes, yeah, I am. He is because I'm a fucking baller. Is he baller. more so than other people in the Twitch politics sphere? I don't think so. I don't think that there's enough evidence to show this. Right? In fact, when we look at like serious allegations made against him, um, typically what we see is there is allegations that have Again. almost wait, is she Canadian? Often communicated second Oh, she is. Kind of straw Ugh. mans of more or less what he said when context and information around it actually elucidates much more firmly what his actual position is. It's concerning to God, me. I wish people would give me this level of charity. Oh my you? God, Viv, shut the fuck up. It's closing Sorry, statements. When people ask for Destiny's monstrousness, you get basically nothing that's tangible, right? Nothing super strong as far as like actual acts that he has done. You get some tweets that sound pretty inflammatory and terrible. It's not a style of tweeting that I personally like to engage in. Yeah, because right? you're but weak. what else has he contributed <laughs> to the space? He, the entire leftward leaning of Twitch politics, the defense of Prime Kai's career, True! What about, I forgot about that! True! Political campaigns. Um, and so it's like, is Destiny fallible? Does Destiny fuck up? Obviously. Would it be better if maybe he owned those more? Sure. That's a conversation that we could potentially have. Can I just jump have. in here and attack? But the idea that his oh, no. bad and good, does the bad outweigh the good? I would say it is demonstrably not shown. Um, and it's super frustrating to see people levying these inane accusations with minimal evidence and holding rulers up to destiny that they don't hold to anyone else on this sphere. I did it on my... I mean, hold I on, fuck. I always have to... I have to be my own hype man because I have no hype man. No, these guys are doing a up. I was on my vacation in my hotel room in Amsterdam when I heard that stream going on and I came out, okay? Because I felt like there was some tomfoolery around, okay? That was a vacation. I don't even think I... I don't even think I ever streamed that, the whole Prime thing, did I? I don't think I did because I was in my hotel bathroom the whole time. <laughs> I was whatever. Actually... <laughs> Okay, well, so... Is lynching defined as the extrajudicial punishment of a person? It's not necessarily an execution, right? Oh, it, does, it has to be an execution, I think. It's an extrajudicial killing. Okay, not just... Okay, fuck, damn it. Because I could have said I prevented a lynching of a black man, but no, I didn't. So, uh, flow trace, <laughs> you're welcome to go ahead. Yeah. I think we all agree that Destiny has done some things we think are bad. And I think it's fair to say that and make the criticisms of those actions. It's, however, entirely different manner to say that Destiny's sins rise to the level that would justify deplatforming him or saying he's a net negative. The minimum required standard to make such a claim would be disastrous by eliminating good voices, particularly when we are in the midst of some of the worst possible voices. You know, they say There's beggars can't be choosers. In a world where Hassan and Tucker Carlson are two of, if not the two biggest political pundits, I think we're lucky to have Steven. Twitch.tv slash Flowtrace, Twitter.com slash Flowtrace underscore.
Thank you, Meet, for hosting. Thank you, viewers, for watching. And thanks, everyone else, for bringing their views. Last but not least, Mad Lab. Oh, um, yeah. So you can find me at twitch.tv slash madlad underscore n or uh, twitter.com sl- uh, slash madlad n. Uh, I think the Destiny thing is, uh, my stance on him is pretty straightforward. Uh, I think he's done a lot of good, just like what Eridite was saying, in terms of, like, you know, saving Prime's platform, um, engaging in um, some pretty important debates, absolutely. Um, I don't wait certain acts that they've conducted. Um, and I agree. Destiny is not worse than some of the, f- like, the fucking people out there. There's people who, mm-hmm. like, make partner off of, like, all sorts of really scaly, skeezy shit. Absolutely. fucking lutely right? Some of the people oh. he's been boosting recently. <laughs> so the, the, point is, <laughs> the point is that, like, there's a standard that we need to, like, look for. There's a standard that we should be, like, asking him to uh, achieve. And it's not just for those of us who find his behavior repulsive. It's also for, like, the people who support him, right? Like, at the end of the day, if he did things that were a little more toned down, and if he started being less abrasive, it would make it easier for his fans to appreciate his content because he would actually still be on the platform on some level. And I'm not justifying the fact that he got removed from the platform. I'm just saying that he can make things easier for everybody by chilling out, showing some remorse for the things he's done that are problematic, and acting in good faith and continuing to demonstrate that he's learned something from the experiences that he's had. That's all. Okay. I want to thank uh, uh, all of you for showing up. I, I genuinely appreciate it. I, uh, uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope it did a good job here today. Hope that you guys watch and enjoyed the content. Um, now that we've winded it down, I'm going to stick around. I'm going to keep streaming for a little bit. Uh, you keep guys are welcome to stay. Uh, class, and Andy. If anyone wants to hear my position in the stream on this entire thing, uh, now that the panel's over, uh, I'm definitely open to to uh, to, to at least weigh in on that. Tale? I didn't want to bias anything uh, going in. Um, but yeah, thanks all of you for showing up. Anyone's welcome to stay uh, and like and uh, hit me up if uh, you wanted to get in here. If you were still around, I, I know you've been here. <laughs> yeah, lame. Lame. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it's um, so fucking funny. To be on. Have a good. Yeah, day. and and nice to meet the uh, nice, you, nice to meet you uh, more properly, Pisco. Uh, yeah. I appreciate you showing up. Uh, hope you uh, I you know I hope you enjoyed being on at the very least. Cringe. It was a pleasure. I enjoyed having you. Yeah. Yeah. So for for anyone in chat that wants or here that wants to know my position on Destiny, uh, I have a lot of thoughts. A lot of which wasn't even uh, uh, quite. Oh, thanks for the raid, Mad Lad. Appreciate it, man. But I I, I wasn't even quite um. Didn't even quite hear all of the arguments that I thought there were to be made. Uh, but uh, although we did at least directionally get to them, um. I feel like there's a very strong. It's very difficult to ascribe a chicken. No, I got stuck in his tail. Destiny with his abusive rhetoric. I, I think that my points are basically twofold. One, it doesn't seem tenable to try and hold anyone accountable for uh, uh, the like ab- abrasive nature of. I'm the winning this time. This, is the, like the this is the win. The entire. This is the win. General. I can feel it. Character, characterized uh, uh, by uh, abrasive language. Um, I think that it is more important to what? look at people's takes for that reason and also i think if to the extent that political discourse is always going to end up becoming toxic to some degree inevitably i think that being able to skirt the line and engage in toxic rhetoric while still having like valid toxic quote-unquote rhetoric it's a loaded term but like but while still engaging in valid critiques actually has a normative value of like allowing people to engage in the platform in a way that is as healthy as it could be given the innate toxic uh, toxic nature or abrasive i'm so sorry i lied of political discourse and the second thing would be that like i hate to you know i i hate to give myself away i guess so to speak but i it definitely does seem to be the case that i basically have never seen any solid proof of destiny doing anything necessarily very wrong other than just being a thank you thank um, you everything thank you. i i have to agree uh, for the sake of any listeners i have to put out there i have to agree with the idea that if you want to see an unhinged vosh subreddit post Destiny says that he has thought about fake crying in his upcoming Vosh takedown video. The fact that he's the idea of running us. Oh man, dude, this community. Oh god, it's going to be so much fun when I release this. How's our Vosh boy doing? Has he stemmed the flow of blood? He hasn't lost another thousand yet. <laughs> That's good.
Oof. Every time you dig into any kind of accusation, hard accusation that would like actually draw some kind of line in the sand, uh, it seems like it's it's nothing. It, it's just it dissipates into thin air. It doesn't exist, mm -hmm. or it was misquoted I mean, or something like that. The, hey, well, I guess you're totally the... okay. You're totally okay with uh, setting a norm on the platform that is perfectly okay to like uh, mock somebody's uh, suicide attempt if you don't think if you personally don't think that it was genuine. That's that's oh, the standard that you that's the standard that you think is perfectly okay to set, and then, you know. I think that in I a think, world, I think in a world, I think on a on in, in a world like the internet, basically where people can and there is evidence that they do weaponize made up stories of trauma or exaggerated stories of trauma and abuse. While it's not something that I would do or that I would necessarily advocate for, I think there is value in not setting a normative standard of engaging in that way, but in setting a normative standard of being able to engage in that way that seems to so dominate Vosh the can just straw man your vid being... and never talk about it again a day or two after like he did with the Doomer politics vid. I feel like the Doomer politics vid must have done some reputational harm to Vosh. You don't think so? Are there any like ex-Vosh fans in chat that ended up watching that vid? I feel like that was a, as much as you might want to call the guy like deranged or whatever, I feel like that video was pretty hard to ignore. It was pretty well structured and there were a lot of, I'm here because of that vid. It, there were a lot of examples brought up in that video. Like it's pretty hard to make accusations of like cherry picking or something. When that guy had like fucking 200 examples. Link the vid. Oh man, you haven't seen the Vosh's evil. It's funny because like the thing that my favorite thing about that is that the guy went with a really bad title because that if you're going to make a video titled Vosh is unironically evil or whatever, like it's almost impossible that your video is going to live up to that fucking title. It's going to come off as clickbaity, but it did. <laughs> it super did. Holy shit. That was an insane video. Oh my God. Vosh is one of the biggest online political figures at the moment. He advocates for anti-capitalist, left-wing political positions, and currently holds a great degree of influence in online political discourse. In this video, I am making the argument that Vosh is a genuinely evil person. And I understand that may sound like clickbait, but if you stick with me, I intend to fully defend the position. Timestamps are in the description if you would like to jump to a specific section, although the later sections do rely on claims made in earlier sections. In the description, you can find a link to the script, which has copious citations for every clip used and every claim made. Obviously, you don't need to read it, but do know I come bearing copious re To be as good faith as possible, let's find the single video on Vosh's channel which would be least likely to contain misinformation. Vosh claims the most expertise in criminal justice, specifically corrections and supervision. And there is a video about precisely this topic, where Vosh claims expertise, and where Vosh claims to have nailed the video in the description. This video is a response to a PragerU video titled, Why Are So Many Americans in Prison? If any video on Vosh's channel is going to be trustworthy, it should be this one. This was put forward under the pretense of academic legitimacy. If you put all of this forward out of ignorance, I also think that's malicious. Actually, actually, ooh, I can't, ah. I did my baccalaureate thesis, months of research and dozens of pages of writing on the potential economic benefits of prison vocational programs. Let it first be known that I'm not defending PragerU or whoever this clown is. The premise of this video is disgusting and nearly all of its contents are misleading. However, I only count three outright falsehoods in this video from the PragerU clown and I also count three outright falsehoods from Vosh. The first falsehood Vosh presents is a condemnation of violent and serious offenders, either that it would be necessarily bad or ineffective to provide rehabilitative services for these people, or that letting them out early would be necessarily bad, presumably because they would be more likely to reoffend. None of this is true. Violent and sexual offenses actually have some of the most effective rehabilitation methods, and these offenders have some of the lowest rates of recidivism when compared to other kinds of criminals. Furthermore, violent and sexual offenders get the worst treatment when going through parole and being assigned terms of supervision, so they could easily be the group that is most in need of help, given the premise that our justice system is too punitive and not focused enough on rehabilitation. Every component of Vosh's claim runs contrary to the facts here. There is a reason why conservatives, like that kid, and the people who give him his money, um, 
are so interested in maintaining the status quo, and the reason for that is because felons can't vote. The second falsehood Vosh presents is that felons can't vote. Again, this is not true. In the vast majority of the country, felons can either vote upon completion of their sentence, or everyone outside of prison can vote. In the stripy states, some felons are permanently disenfranchised, but only in two states, Kentucky and Virginia, are all felons permanently disenfranchised. In some cases, felons may need to go through a process to have their voting rights restored, but it is still a blatant falsehood to say that felons can't vote, even in the region that Vosh is talking about. Keeping felons from voting is a deliberate effort to keep black and brown people from contributing their votes. Then, Vosh goes off the deep end and claims felons can't vote because the state hates black people. Yikers. First of all, it's difficult to ascribe any motivation to an institution, as institutions are made up of an incredible number of different people and policies, etc. And this is particularly true for the U.S. correction system, where most prisoners are in state prisons and jails, and each state has their own, sometimes wildly different standards for handling corrections and supervision. To ascribe motivation to the system as a whole is stupid on its face, but then to say the motivation is racism is just blatantly wrong. Now that Vosch knows about the vast restoration of voting rights, do you think he would admit that the state loves black people? I doubt it. That's three blatant falsehoods in the video on Vosch's channel where he should have the greatest degree of expertise, and in which he claims to have done a great job. Most of his other claims are at least partially wrong as well, but I'm more concerned with claims that he absolutely wouldn't make with a genuine expertise in criminal justice. So let's look at a few more. Our prison population is higher both per capita and in total numbers than any other fucking country on earth. How? Well, the real answer how is because of private prisons and because lobbying from those private prisons to increase both the uh, number of crimes and the sentencing length of those crimes because they profit from it. It's to make people money. That's the actual reason why, by the way. It's not just because we hate black people. It's because we hate black people and we want to make a lot of fucking money off their suffering. Here, Vosch claims that mass incarceration resulted from lobbying from private prisons. No. Private prisons do not drive correctional policy. Private prisons account for less than 9% of prisoners, and an incredibly small amount of money is spent by private prisons on lobbying. In 2020, only $4 million was spent in an $80 billion industry. That is one two hundredth of a percent. And if you go back a few years to 2014, the amount spent is under $500,000. This is particularly relevant because mass incarceration resulted from policy changes that happened in the 70s and 90s, long before private prisons had even the meager influence they carry today. Private prisons didn't cause mass incarceration, they leech off of it. This is a conspiracy theory that you could only peddle if you knew nothing about the substantive facts of the matter. Almost like they created a problem that they knew would disproportionately affect um, like black communities and then introduced mass incarceration, which they get to conveniently extract slave labor from. Then Vosch claims that the state has an incentive to lock people up for slave labor. The idea that prisoners are a profitable labor force for the state is demonstrably untrue, as the cost of incarceration dwarfs the labor value of an inmate. The state has no incentive to lock people up for slave labor, but you don't need to take my word for it because Vosh admits this in another video. Next, let's look at some other criminal justice misinformation, this time about the police. And oh boy, where do we even begin? Vosh has a huge problem with spreading misinformation about the police. Let's begin with a few entire videos that are factually incorrect. First up is a video about Aaron Danielson and Michael Reinol. Reinol stalked Danielson and shot him in the back. The video of this was available on social media within hours of the events, and Reinol was identified by authorities, but Portland police didn't apprehend Reinol. This led Trump to send in the US Marshals, which resulted in Reinol's death under circumstances which are disputed. Vosh begins the video claiming that his handling of the situation was incredibly responsible. What I wanted to do was say, this was an extrajudicial killing, this was a lynching, this was a hit put out by the government because he killed a member of Patriot Prayer, a far-right group, and the government backs the far-right. But I didn't want to be hyperbolic. The reason for that is because I'm not a fucking dumbass. I try to be responsible, for the most part, and I waited. 
So again, this should be a video where Vosh is at his best. Criminal justice is his area of expertise, and he was apparently extra careful to be sure he was delivering this information responsibly. Unfortunately, nearly every single detail of this video is wrong. First of all, Vosh states or implies five times that Reinal was acting in self-defense and shooting Danielson. This is a blatant lie. Reinal stalked Danielson and shot him in the back. This isn't misleading his audience about a small detail. This is perhaps the most important piece of information in the entire video, and Vosh lies about it five times, despite his earlier claims about being responsible. Remember what happens when Vosh claims to be doing a good thing. The rest of the video contains so many falsehoods, I don't even have time to mention all of them. Misrepresenting the legal authority and role of police. Misrepresenting the legal concept of innocence. Misrepresenting the existence of retributive justice under the law. Misrepresenting the details of the shooting of Reinhold. Misrepresenting Trump's statements about Reinhold. Consistently framing the killing of Reinhold as a hit put out by Trump, etc. Almost every individual statement in this video is either misinformation, gross hyperbole, or blatant fear-mongering. At points like this, when he says stuff like that, I don't know if he expects his audience to know that he's lying. I genuinely don't know. When people watch that, do they think he, they, he actually fact-checked it, or do they think he's making a joke? I genuinely do not know. Then we can look at Vosh's video in the wake of the shooting of Jacob Blake. The video begins with a blatant falsehood. Vosh claims Shapiro is invoking the he was no angel argument, but Shapiro isn't. He's discussing why police were there in the first place. It doesn't matter if Jacob Blake uh, had just finished uh, raping uh, millions of people. Impressive, uh, if nothing else. It doesn't matter. Then Vosh spreads misinformation about Blake being unarmed, continuing to misrepresent the role of police and the illegal concept of innocence, and misrepresenting other basic facts about the case. This is a video about Blake and Shapiro's response to the shooting of Blake, and Vosh totally misrepresents both of them. It's also worth pointing out that Vosh has another video about Blake, released right after the footage went public, and it is way worse. Then we can look at Vosh's video about the 2019 Miramar shootout. Vosh claimed police cars are bulletproof when they aren't, repeatedly claimed that all victims were shot by police when this still isn't known today, and Vosh additionally claimed that the UPS refused to compensate the victim who was kidnapped and murdered, despite showing evidence that UPS did compensate the family of the victim three different times during the video. And these are just the direct falsehoods, not to mention downplaying the seriousness of the original incident by insisting that no one was killed in the jewelry store when someone was shot, and spending most of the video running defense for the people who robbed the store, shot an employee, and kidnapped Frank Ordonez as an excuse to place all of the blame on police. What about insisting the umbrella guy was an undercover cop when he wasn't? This guy. So we've got a person here who is essentially unidentifiable, at least by appearance, by way of the full black garb and the gas mask and everything else. Here's a thing that I know for a fact is happening. Undercover cops. There is nothing on earth that can tell me that motherfucker in the black get up with the umbrella smashing those autos on windows at the beginning of the protest wasn't a fucking cop. Or spreading misinformation about Amy Klobuchar and Derek Chauvin. Amy Klobuchar was one of the people who declined to bring charges against the officers who killed George Floyd. Or spreading misinformation about Kyle Rittenhouse. Murder? The second Doesn't shooting, he was case. literally laying on his ass, firing shots at people 20 feet away who weren't even moving towards him. Or spreading misinformation about the Twitter cop planting evidence. That, why did I retweet this? I'm such a fucking idiot, dude. I trusted the fucking headline again. Are you getting the picture? And keep in mind, this is only misinformation about his greatest area of expertise. If you aren't capable of covering breaking news without spreading misinformation, then don't cover breaking news. 
reality. I'm not a news outlet. I don't do breaking news, you know. Um, uh, uh, I'm not a journalist. I don't really have the um, uh, uh, the training or the contacts necessary to update, get, like get live information and verify it on the scene and then update. And I don't. I generally I don't want to um, uh, propagate misinformation. Speaking of which, if you aren't capable of talking about the police without spreading misinformation, then don't talk about the police. Is this really so complicated? Also, you may be wondering why Vosh is so consistently wrong about the police. The police don't want to protect American citizens. The police don't want to uphold the law. If they wanted to do either of those things, they wouldn't be behaving the way they're behaving now. What police want is limitless power. That is what the police want. That is the only thing they want. The police as an institution want to be able to drive into the low-income districts of whatever city it hap they happen to squat in, like, a, like an occupying force, and just murder people. I hate the police as an institution. I despise it. And we haven't even gotten to the other misinformation yet, which will now float by on screen. I have 15 pages of notes purely on Vosh's falsehoods, and keep in mind, these are only the verifiable falsehoods. I'm not including gross hyperbole or implying false information or telling half-truths, etc. How do I even cover all of this? Also keep in mind, I didn't watch all of his videos. Only about 80 of the over a thousand videos on his main channel. I didn't troll through Vosh's Twitter or his second channel or the various clip channels or his streams, etc. It's not an exaggeration to say that his content is riddled with falsehoods and that nothing he says should ever be trusted without Googling it first. I could spend the next hour going through all of this, but instead, let's see what Vosh thinks about the ethics of lying. Okay, I, I said that. I personally said that. That we're comfortable accepting a level of intellectual dishonesty. Okay. Sometimes, if, if intellectual honesty is the cost of a successful improvement of the state of humanity, then sometimes that just has to be made. I'm very flexible i guess with with means or methods as just, long as it leads people, people in a good direction i think it's generally pretty defensible people just report things that are just factually not true that's my issue sure like, they do do that but vosh has been defending lying for political gain for almost 10 years and it shows in his behavior as we'll learn later on this is also fully justified by his personal philosophy now you don't need to take my word for it you can check the script in my sources to verify all of this for yourself. So just beware that you can never take anything Vosh says at face value. At this point, when we're in a position where so many people are so willing to lie so fragrant, uh, flagrantly, sorry, not fragrantly, um, if they say one thing, if they make a single argument that I could disprove with a single Google search, then what does that say about the rest of the information they have for you? In all likelihood, it means that everything they're saying is horseshit. They're just cobbling together as many stories as they can, and that disproving one of them is enough to dispel the credibility of the rest of the arguments. There is not a good base of conservatives in this country. How hard do you really think this manifesto will travel? I mean, it'll get at least 200,000 views on my YouTube, I think. And there's still, as much as Vosh tries to deny it. There's still a lot of audience crossover between us. Um, I think it'll be there. <clears throat> Viewed and analyzed for your actual positions that you're stating in a quantitative way, rather than just like the impression that people get. I, I mean, that was a lot of words to say, yes, actually, I think it's okay uh, to set a norm well, okay, have I'm gonna, form, no, I, th I think those are too qualitatively different I'm because gonna, I'm not setting the standard where it's okay in general. Gonna, no, well, no, it's an emergency. I gotta that's go. Not what oh I, my god, yeah. Mad Lab, get out of there. Oh that's, my god. Keep hating your life said, then. Working class right? Andy. What I said was, and you think it's okay to have a platform, right, where, uh, where it is okay for an individual uh, to do this if they personally think that, you know, um, that, that they were faking or whatever. Uh, that's the, you know... Oh, you can turn on a set. dime with a double And that jump. means that basically anybody at any time can engage in this behavior and just say, well, you know what, I don't think that they actually seriously feel this way. 
Right. It's just a well, super I, I think... disingenuous representation of even what the tweet was. Like, look, to be honest, I also wouldn't engage in that type of tweeting, but the idea that you can basically tell somebody to get more meds, make fun of them for, like, accidentally doing meth, and tell them that they need to go get more therapy right after getting out of a mental health crisis and then calling them mentally sick seems a Wait, little bit... Wait, did she really say all of that? Too Fuck, I feel like... Your day did more research than what I remember. Wait, how many of these tweets are real? Does anybody have all the tweets leading up to that? How can you be saying shit like that? I think she did say that, right? She did say, like, up your meds or get therapy or whatever. And I'm like, bro, you just, like, fake or <laughs> did a thing. <laughs> Sorry. The up your med things was you the thing that you said first. Okay, yeah, shit. I wonder if there's, like, a... Oh, I'm dead. Is there, like, a full, like, dialogue between the two? I wish I, wish I could see all the tweets. Now I'm curious. It's much easier without the horse. I don't believe. I don't think so. Jokes potentially, but also the like, uh, like all around this is like so much lost context, and there's no accusation of like, hey, probably Doe shouldn't have been, been, been making fun about the accident that he accidentally took meth. Because from my understanding, is it was a really, really terrible experience for Destiny and Melina, right? Yeah, I imagine uh, probably would be. Yeah, yeah. Imagine having uh, like the wrong drugs. That would, that would be fucking terrible. Yeah, that would be fucking terrible. But this is once again what about ism? I've said that this is a line in the fucking sand, something that we shouldn't you're just drawing allow. A, the incorrect, you're drawing a straw man line. Like, this isn't the line in the sand that people are drawing. straw man line. Yeah, this because you're true. taking the texts this and the tweets out I'm of drawing. context. This is the line I'm drawing. That's that fair, but no you're moralizing at meat about um, his platform which he can do whatever no he sense. want with, and you're moralizing it in a way that is I'm dishonest about the context of what I'm happened. Sorry. And that's not fair to do to Meat, who did his best, by the way, to be incredibly neutral through this. Did interview. you ever prove it was meth? Are you sure it wasn't MDMA? Um, I, at the end of the day, I don't actually, I'll never know what it was, unfortunately, because the guy, um, he conveniently said that he got rid of the rest of it or something, I think, um, even though he should have had, I think, 300 milligrams left. But um, it, I had like a ton of emails from, I guess, like drug pros trying to explain him what it was. But um. It definitely was not MDMA. I've taken a lot of MDMA at this point in my life, and it was not MDMA. Uh, whatever it was, I'm trying to remember. I think me and Melina were high, I want to say for a solid, it was either 18 or 24 hours. Like at, And I was awake, I want to say for about two days, or maybe a little bit longer, maybe longer than 48 hours. Um, like wide awake, like looking in the mirror, like I'm not even remotely tired. Um, it was not, it, it's impossible that it was MDMA. Um, it might have been MDMA plus something else, um, but it was it was almost for sure like some sort of amphetamine. Um, it was whatever it was because we had capsules, so whatever it was, it was like a really nice looking pure white crystal. Now color doesn't mean anything because anything could look like anything, but it was like it was a whatever crystal thing that was cut up and then put into capsules and we ate it. Um, there, for some reason, I didn't think it was meth. I thought I looked up meth and like the time of action or how long or whatever, but. Um, yeah. Was it fun? Yeah, it was super fun. It was a really good experience. Like, if I knew what it was, I, like, it's something I might consider again. Um, but it's just, it's scary when you're under the influence of a drug and you don't know what it is. That was the problem. Because it was a super fun time while we were high for, like, 12 hours. But then after 12 hours, it's like, okay, well, something is very, 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 very wrong. I shouldn't still be really, really, really high. Um, <clears throat> yeah.